He's here. The most ferocious Tasmanian devil. And there's nowhere to run. Yeah, no, no, my hiccups are gone. Nowhere to hide. You haven't by chance seen a young gator, have you? Mm -mm. From the terror of the Tasmanator. Watch an all-new Tasmania coming to your TV Saturday morning on Fox. That's me back. The tiny tunes and dynamo Cracked it up with his own show Everybody knows they're on Fox Now that man's gonna show you He's the greatest superhero He's the cat and cat and Bobby Super Dave Tom and Jerry Everybody knows they're on Fox They're on Fox Dog City, X-Men 2 Mary Melody's Beetlejuice Everybody knows It's on Fox! It's on Fox! It's on Fox! It's on Fox! Oh, Big surprise with fresh new faces now, you know in the cool places everybody knows! Everybody knows! It's on Fox! Disaster. Kung Pao jalapenos and hot sauce. <laughs> That's what everyone says. Well, let's close up for a while and check things out at the Tomato Task Force booth. It's called Cow's Zoning, Wilbur. Sort of like a rolled up pizza, you see. Rolled? Rolled? Pizzas aren't rolled, they're flat, like the world. Now, take a taste. They're delicious. Stuff with whole kumquat. When I say so, boys, let her rip. Uncle Wilbur, don't bite that. It'll bite back. <laughs> Magnificent kumquats. Let's go. Yahoo! Stay here and guard the grounds. I will exercise calm, reasoned leadership and pulverize those suckers myself. Charge! Ft! Stay! No! Actually, Tara, Uncle Wilbur didn't tell us to stay, so let's go. Man, where did they come from? Killer Kunkwats is where they strange. Really, really. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
I had a great time. A most excellent time, dudes. The best henchman's convention ever. Oh, and I totally love my T-shirt. Till next year. Dig you later, dudes. <laughs> Oh, wow. It was fun, but it'll be good getting back to work with my adored master. Whoa, what is this? His victory garden. Everything's like, I don't know, shriveled up. Oh, this will explain it. A note for the toxic waste delivery man asking him to go away? This can't be. I'll open the door. Everything will be way cool as usual. Above all, I'll see my... Master? Master! Sir, it's me, Igor, back from the convention. Oh, would you like to hear all about the groveling seminar? Don't answer it. Hello? Putrid babyface, what's going on, huh? You conquer any worlds lately? <laughs> Like, who are you? How dare you? My master will prevail when he's good and ready! He's back. Who, master? Ah, thereby hangs a tale which can only be told in a flashback to my wonder years. Actually, they were more like blunder years. I had a modest ambition to be the first kid on my block to rule the world. Was that too much to ask? Yes! Well, 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 if it ain't putrid tea gang green. Today's science day, pal. What you got for show and tell? Uh, uh, an, an apple. I, I, I thought... An apple? No, 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 no. That is wrong, wrong. You want to be a scientist, you got to be on the cutting edge. Always got to look for new stuff in new places. Like up there. G -g Gosh, that billboard? You got it, fella. Go for it. It's research. Up, up. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm climbing! Right! That's it! Now, into the bowl! Oh, well, what'd you find? <gasps> Tomato soup! Yeah! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> yes, Sydney, I gotcha. My childhood rival. From grade school on, Igor, he never ceased to torment me. Even on my first date. Listen up, Earthlings. I'm the big cabbage here, and I'm telling you, stick it between your elbows. You, 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 you want a chocolate-covered cherry? <laughs> Rotten tomatoes! <laughs> I gotcha again. He took pleasure in tormenting me, always fouling up my science projects so that his would succeed. Then came our final confrontation. Welcome University of Wisconsin science students to chemistry class. Today's experiment, growth, modest experiment using a common everyday fruit to be conducted with your lab partner. How are you two doing, okay? Watch out for that one. He's weird, bizarre, a, a total nutcake. Look, pal, let's cooperate for once, okay? You can handle this. Now follow this formula. You put the tomato in the beaker. It's working. It's growing bigger and bigger. Oh, no! Too big! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> Your gym teacher escapes from charm school, irons his underwear, watches hygiene films. He says, anyone chewing bubble tape owes me 50 push-ups. The lunch lady wears a hairnet, serves mashed potatoes with an ice cream scoop, puts gravy on everything. She says, bubble tape is not part of a well-balanced diet. Bubble tape is six feet of bubble gum for you, not them. Your gym teacher, Mr. Bonazzo, <coughs> thinks we eat Kellogg's Frost so many weeds because it's very nutritious. And they know I don't have a clue. <laughs> the sweet taste is so cool and it's loaded with whole grain wheat. I've told him a thousand times. 
they need. Frosty, yeah. And lots of this stuff. Is essential for proper character development. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats taste so good, who cares about anything else? Besides, it's part of this complete breakfast. One day, they will be the pillars of the community. When will you see Barbie's trendy little sister? Gorgeous hair, an adorable hat, and even cute little clothes. She's got clothes for a party, clothes for shopping at the mall, clothes for school, and that's not all. Sharing so much fun to do, some daily clothes for Barbie, too. Barbie couldn't have a better sister. Stacy doll comes with a backpack and shopping bag. Her skirt, top, and jacket fit Barbie, too. Barbie doll sold separately. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cosmo. How about a Big Mac? <laughs> hey, Cosmo. Hey, Cosmo. What? Yeah. How about a Big Mac? That's right in my mind. McDonald's, man. Let's ride. Oh, let's just grab my... I love to shop, don't you? I can't believe my ears. I can't believe my eyes. Every teen talk farming is a different surprise. Mine says... Wanna have a pizza party? <gasps> Mine says... You're my best friend. Uh... Now she says, meet me at the mall. Cool. What's she gonna say next? Listen. Do you have a crush on anyone? <laughs> you won't believe your ears are high. Teen Talk Barbie, what a surprise. <laughs> each Teen Talk Barbie doll says four different fun things. Barbie dolls each sold separately. Now, back to our show. Faster, boys, faster. He's a gaining. <laughs> Bombs away! Fire when ready! Hit the deck! Up the establishment! Gosh, your bitterness, sir. That's the saddest flashback I ever heard. No wonder you're, like, so strange. Now this I got you, dude. He's... He's somewhere nearby. Ever since you left for the convention, Igor, he's been calling at all hours, taunting me. Sydney, I got you. Drove me to tomatoes. I see now. I've been on the wrong track all these years. And now he's come back to torture me. Is it too late to start over? Hmm. Oh, I should have bought the honey almond processing plant when I had the chance. Say, what about the yummy kumquat crating company? Hopefully, it's still for sale. Hey, somebody's moving in. Uh, oh, ow! How dare they? How dare! Anyone interfere with my real estate needs? Oh, master, look! The unhealthy color is back in your cheeks. <laughs> For joy. The only way to fly. All right, who goes there? Show yourself. Mutant! You swallowed my master! Oh, total bummer! Like, who's behind all this? <gasps> so, so, Sydney, I got gotcha. you? Doctor, I got you to you, babe, huh? No sign of Uncle Wilbur yet. Uh-oh, Chad. What has happened to... Oh! <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? I... We... Both sense something. Animal, vegetable, or mineral. Come, Quat! Oh, major bring down. That big tangerine of yours swallowed up my master. Oh, really gnarly scene. Babe, sweetie, it's not a tangerine, okay? And pipe down, will ya? I'm working on the antidote. Master, are you all right? Can I get you anything? As a matter of fact, yes, Igor. You can get the other. Hey, 
Amigo, booby, baby, sweetie. How much is old Putrid paying you, huh? Paying? Nothing. Ah, I'll double it. No, no, time and a half. You're hired. Ah, ha. It's ready. Now, stand back. <laughs> It never fails. Mind your manners. Next time. <laughs> Tip a canoe and Tyler too. Whip and place it now. Just say no. So, Sydney, I gotcha. Still weird after all these years, but you don't scare me anymore. I defy you. With what? Tomatoes? <laughs> Face it, putrid. You've been a loser all your life. Never could get a science project right. For years now, you've been futzing around with the wrong fruit. Kumquats are where it's at. The bigger, the badder, the better. It's taken years, but now I'm ready, and you are history. <laughs> You're mad, Sydney. Not angry, just mad! Igor! Igor! Not so fast. Igor works for me now, since I time and a half this salary. What? Well, make up your mind, Igor. Time and a half, or nothing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Betrayed. But you'll not keep me here except by force of arms. <laughs> What's with you, Quartz? You're supposed to be out wreaking random havoc. <clears throat> Senor, we must ask to see your badges. Badges? What stinking badges? Oh, all right. I must have a Fox Kids Club badge somewhere. Hey, my wallet's missing. I must have dropped it inside the kumquat. Just show me the way back to the factory, please. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a job. Uh, one where you'll go places. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going up there. Wait, Chad. I cannot let you go without this. A hairpin? Tara, you really are something else. I know, Chad. I am a tomato. But I saw on TV once how this secret agent who never used weapons saved the whole world by using nothing more than a small sliver of... I get the picture. Thanks. No, 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 Igor. Hal, booby, baby, forget gangrene. That guy's always gonna be number two. What good's that when it comes to ruling the world, huh? You stick with me, kid, and get a load of this. Behold, the guns of I gotcha. So, he thinks he's got the world in his hands? Not if I can help it. The guns of gangrene! With these, I'll pound that kumquat company to pulp. That's the last of them. King-size exploding kumquats. Loaded and ready. Igor, baby, the countdown. Ready, aim, <laughs> like fire! Kiss and zucchini goodbye, pal, cuz I got ya! <laughs> We'll be right back. I couldn't get this tune out of my head. Till I heard these flowers. Then a heartbeat. And the sound of mushrooms sprouting. It was raining cats and dogs. In harmony. Then airplanes hit the high notes. Even the stars came out to play. Hey, I think I just wrote a song. Mario Paint. Draw and make music only on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Kellogg's Pop Tarts are popping up, up, up. So cool, they're hot, so hot. The taste of real food, real hot, 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 hot. Mm, they taste so cool. They're hot, so hot. They're cool. Mm. Now, if you want all the hot taste of chocolate and marshmallow s'mores, don't forget your toaster. Mm. Mm. New Kellogg's S'mores Pop-Tarts. 
Monday on Batman, when unusual robberies plague Gotham. We got company! The Dark Knight tracks a chilling bull. Mr. Freeze to you. And makes a shocking discovery. The stolen objects combine into a massive weapon. Very good. A detective to the last. Watch Batman, the animated series, Monday afternoon on Fox. And it's not even sweets month. Kumquats. Yes, giant kumquats. Not tomatoes are hurtling towards San Zucchini. What significance has this? What does it mean? It means I'm out of here. This is Wiggly White saying, Bon voyage! Uh, an urgent update from Station KRUD. San Zucchini survives. Whoa, 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 what happened? How could I have missed? It's not possible. N not without sabotage by a hairpin. You did it. You saved San Zucchini with brains, courage, and the hairpin. Ready? Rat forgot to load them. But there's nothing here to load them with except. Well, I did promise them a job where they'd go places. Get your fertilizer, free fertilizer, fresh and steamy. <laughs> yummy, yummy, chow time. Hey, where's the fertilizer? <laughs> Fire! We've been hacked! <laughs> wow! Like, alert! Alert! Tomatoes out! Well, let's see, the big hen's on the... Oh, yeah. 12 o'clock! Here I got you, Ness! What? How dare that has been fire at me! Hang back, Igor, babe! Passing through, seniors. Who can play at this game? <laughs> We're free, compadres, on our way to old Mexico. Adios! Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't hit the side of a tomato factory. Yeah. Come on, help me adjust the caliber to fit two big, dumb kumquats. Hey, you two! Come back here! What are you waiting for? After them! That's not what I meant! Come back! Now what? All I got left is this! That guy up there is screwier than gangrene. We gotta stop him. But how? Someone, something is coming! Chad, a wallet with tomato stains. Why, of course. It's Gang Green's wallet. Awesome. Good thing I own a chemistry set. I know what this is. I need a tomato for a dangerous assignment. Any volunteers? Now, what will Slip this to that Dr. I will ya. Or I want you, or whatever his name is. Can you do it, FT? <laughs> Tomato. So what's going on, huh? Huh? You want to surrender? Good move. For me? All right. Slide it down. Yeah. Just what I need. A formula. Something to make one kumquat go a long way. A modest growth experiment, Booby, using a common everyday fruit. 
Oh, no. No, you're risking this. Not this formula. Help! Hmm. Now, why does this seem familiar? <laughs> why, F.T.? I, I, I mistook you for a... What's that? Great guns! The Kumquat Company! She's about to blow! No! No, 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 no! Now I remember that formula! You got me! Awesome! We did it! We did it! You're safe! And so is Sansukini! Again! The kumquats are destroyed! Not quite, Tara. Ah! Oh, don't be afraid. This kumquat is different. We wound up lost together. I'll set them free eventually, but for now, we be of one blood. Uh, uh juice, uh, this kumquat and I. Don't try this at home. Wait a minute. Let me ask you something. Why are you watching the show anyway? Tomatoes. I mean, come on. Why not a kumquat? No, no. Forget kumquats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An eggplant. <laughs> Wait a minute. Eggplants aren't funny. A watermelon. Yeah. We've been bopping back at ya. Oh, yeah. If I'm elected, there'll be no chores! Maybe if I'm president, I can get tricks with yummy fruit shapes. And no homework! Excuse me. A vote for me oh. means fruity tasting tricks for everyone! With breakfast, lunch, or dinner! Ah. And the rabbits can eat them too! I say tricks! A fruity tasting part of this complete breakfast will always be just for kids! So much for new ideas. Introducing Domino Raleigh's spectacular stunt set. More than one set show. Spectacular stunt set. Also look for the motorized domino dealer that automatically sets up your dominoes. Works with all domino rally sets. From Walt Disney Pictures, critics are cheering for the Mighty Ducks. It was supposed to be a pep talk. It's a definite winner. A comedy that'll keep the entire family laughing. You'll love the Mighty Ducks. Rated PG. Now playing. From Walt Disney Pictures, take one incredible genie. Three magical wishes. Dozens of wonderful new characters. Group hug. And you've got Disney's all-new animated adventure, Aladdin. Rated G. Starts Wednesday, November 25th. I found it. One tiny tomato seed. Just enough to start again. <laughs> Igor! Igor! see more? Oh, bummer. Okay. All right. Like, here's my Weebly badge. Here's my Explorer badge. Oh, dig it. My Surfing Merit badge. Oh, yeah. And look, here's one for the 50-yard dash. Hey there. It's Catherine, Zia Ranger number one. Tomorrow morning, I'll be hosting... With me, Tanya, Zio Ranger number two. Me, Chris Leary, the wannabe ranger, and get ready, because <laughs> the radio airways are going to be Zio night. So tomorrow morning, lock into the Fox Kids Countdown, your official Zio radio frequency.
Cobra. It's the massive G.I. Joe headquarters with searchlight, three missile launchers, eight electronic sounds, and a removable rapid-fire gun. Hit hidden targets to trigger a jailbreak or send a tower crashing down. G.I. Joe headquarters with eight electronic sounds, rapid-fire gun, and blast action targets. Super Duper Double Looper. Suddenly, the road splits up through the double loop. Now, the impossible jump. Incredible. You win. Super Duper Double Looper with impossible jump. isn't always easy to see. Just look at the treasure troll top. Each baby-sized troll has a secret hidden jewel. And each jewel with its special sparkle is perfect for wishing on. I wish. Because they're so soft, you can cuddle up with one and wish yourself beautiful dreams. Treasure troll tops are as special as your wishes. I wish I had curly hair. Treasure troll top from Ace. Magic Barbie doll comes with three bath beads. In water, they turn into five flowers, five bows, and a hair decoration. Watch, Jacket! Oh, watch me! Yeah, I think they're stuck! You can get Chip and Dale unstuck with these reusable Rescue Ranger stickers. One free in Kellogg's Fruit Loops. You can collect all four. Yo! Yo! Yo-yo ball! It's so much fun and easy to do. Go wherever it goes, it goes back to you. And you never have to whine it, you can do it all. Hey, man! It's a yo-yo ball! Play it like a pro. Technic line, the ultimate in high performance engineering. With oscillating twin piston engines, rack and pinion steering, state of the art life saving features, and a gear shifting network for movement and precision control. So if you visit your local dealer, you can check out the latest models. Lego Technic, technically speaking, it rules. Each building set sold separately. Tired of boring TV? Then take control. Announcing the Fox Kids TV Takeover. It all starts at McDonald's where you snag a ballot and vote for your favorite Fox Kids show. Then on Thanksgiving weekend, one lucky voter will star on Fox as host of two hours of fun-filled shows you selected. Plus, win a family trip for four to Universal Studios Hollywood. 1,000 other kids win McDonald's gift certificates. Entries must be received by November 18th. So vote to McDonald's for your chance to take over the network and star on TV. It's anything but boring.
Catch the wildest new fever. It's Tasmania Saturday morning on Fox. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. It's on Fox. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. When you believe in magic and the hope you do, you'll always have a friend wearing big red shoes. <laughs> Anything can happen right before your eyes. Whatever you're expecting, expect a surprise. When you believe in magic, only can do. I believe in magic. I believe in you. Well, 
Welcome to a land that's way under, down under. The sky's always yellow in rain or shine. Down to Tasmania, come to Tasmania. When Topsy meets Tubby, they start to spin like a Tasmanian devil in his closest kin. Down in Tasmania, come to Tasmania. Mom's alive, why are dads never born along? Molly's all fired up, will take place with the dog. Down in Tasmania, come to Tasmania. Didgeridoo, Dingo and Wendell T. Wolf. Francis X. Bush lad is never on cool. Bushwhacker Bob and his mother gold mom. Constance and Dick Lee just want to have fun. Well, Gator and Axel are always left sore. If you have a deal, just call Buddy Ball. The Platypus Brothers are a back and about. The Kiwi, the Bush Rats, have we left anyone out? <gasps> Oh yeah, don't forget Taz. He put the Taz in Tasmania, down in Tasmania, come to Tasmania. We mean you! Well, I'll be right back. But first, I'm gonna find a hot cappuccino. Don't look now, but Inspector Gadget's crawling your way. He's the funniest oddball superhero around, with his goofy gadgets and wacky ways. With orders from the Chief and his trusty dog, Brain, he'll do whatever it takes to track Dr. Claw to the ends of the Earth. With explosive results, Inspector Gadget's back. Weekday mornings at 6.30, starting Monday. Everybody knows it's on Fox 50. One, two, three. It's as easy as one, two, three. If you don't know what to do. One, two, three. It's as easy as one, two, three. If you don't know what to do. Just close your eyes and hop on the spaceship, the magic of your mind, and watch the magic happen. Watch Babe's World, Thursday at 3, here on Fox 50. I'm on the beach and having fun. It's my water, baby. But don't let her get too much sun. It's my water, baby. It's Water Baby's Beach Baby. Fill her with water and she feels just like a real baby. She even gets a little tan when you dip her in cold water. But when you rub her with warm water from her pretend Water Baby's lotion bottle, the tan disappears. The Water Baby's Beach Baby from Playmates. I wish F stood for fantastic. I wish kids got to do the grocery shopping. Ew, yuck. When you wish on a treasure troll, who knows what might happen? Treasure trolls are the only trolls that have a jewel in their tummy that you can wish on. What would you wish for? <coughs> I wish cherry cough syrup really tasted like cherries. Treasure trolls with a jewel you can wish on from Ace. Hello, my name is Smokey Bear, and this is my home, a place for you to climb, sleep, watch, and play, as long as it's not with matches. Only you can prevent forest fires. I'm not spying in that. Back to the
Okay, we'll even name the store after you so everyone will know you're the winner. Have you ever heard of a better prize? And there's still more. 150 other winners will get $100 Toys R Us gift certificates. Wow! Enter by September 21st and you could be a winner. This is Little Shop, a gem and jungle of dangerous thrills. It's enough to make your roof fine. Don't miss Little Shop, coming up next on Fox. become a nerd. <sighs> you see, my problem is, I've got everything it takes to be a nerd. Ah! <laughs> Except brains. I'm going to school now, Mom. Don't share your wheat germ with all the other kids. They might have other germs. Mom packs health food in my lunchbox. I always sneak in a bologna sandwich. And you know the quill born. Maybe someday I'll get to eat it. Actually, I like school. You see, that's where I first met Audrey Mushnick. Are you all right? Hmm? It looked like you weren't breathing. She doesn't even know I'm alive. If only there was some way to make her notice me. Oops. Sometimes I have the weirdest dream. It's like I've gone back in time, and I'm the first caveman. <laughs> Booga ah. booga. Ah. Feed me. Yo, I ain't standing your dream for long. No. It's the new tea we tea drop. Amino acids and simple sugars, just like Mama used to make. <laughs> Excuse me. Black <laughs> pieces, hair pieces, Reese's pieces, eye pieces, no pieces, no pieces, Reese's pieces, three pieces, two pieces, one pieces, Reese's pieces, time pieces, center pieces. Mantle pieces, Reese's pieces, chess pieces, gold pieces, silver pieces, Reese's pieces. The famous flavor of Reese's peanut butter in a fun candy shell. You'll love them to pieces. There are diamonds in the world we live in. Operation from Nintendo. New Super Mario World. Created especially for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It's a bit more exciting, a bit more challenging, a bit more graphic, a bit more colorful, a bit more realistic, a bit more levels, a bit more secret, a bit more enemies, a bit more friends, a bit more sound, a bit hotter, a bit cooler, a bit weird, a bit more revolutionary, a bit more Mario, a bit more of what you want. It's 16-bit. And it's yours only if you get new Super Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, superpower. Safe. Put the 
librarian problem into effect mode. Get with the program, Tal, so I can finish the show. Put up on this channel for the two of us. After I blew up the science lab, I got a job at Mr. Mushnick's flower shop. Mr. Mushnick is Audrey's father. Ever since Audrey was 12, she's wanted to be a fireman. Seymour, stop overwatering the flower, Seymour. Sorry, Mr. Mushnick. <laughs> taking care of the plants, I made deliveries. Then one morning, my whole life changed. It got worse. Sorry, Seymour. I didn't see you standing there. I hope I didn't get your homework wet. <laughs> no, I always carry a waterproof notebook. That's be smart. Have a nice day, Clowborn. I don't think he means it. You know, sometimes I wish Payne liked me. That's kind of funny, since I don't like him. Just my luck. I landed on a rock. It looks like a fossilized seed. I'd better save it for my rock collection. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Ah! Gadzooks! It sprouted! It must have germinated in the wheat germ. Hand over the sandwich, Quellborn. Ow! <laughs> Find the booby grab me, huh? I'm innocent. So where's the baloney? My business is a bust. Business, what a joke. I've got no business. That's why I'm going broke. I'm going broke. This little thing I grow might win me Audrey's attention. Hey, Audrey, meet Audrey Jr. Yuck, a rubber brought the sprout. Oh, Seymour, what a silly invention. If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. somebody to talk to. Wasting your time with me while my flowers go to pot? You're lucky I can't afford to pay you. Or I fire you. Feed me. Yo, feed me. Hello, pizza place. I'll take a large pizza, triple pepperoni, maybe some anchovies, and, uh, hold the veggies. Somebody order a pizza? I hope it was Audrey. Hmm. Looks like nobody's here. Hey! What are you doing here? 
So you're the plaque brat who ordered the pizza. Uh, 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 Come on, Krillborn, pay up. I don't have any money. I'm coming back tomorrow to see Mushnik. He doesn't have any money either. Personally, I wouldn't take that off a piece of mulch like him. Of course, I'm bigger than he is. Junior, you're alive. What do I look like? I'm made out of plastic. But, but, but you're talking to me. Nobody ever talks to you, huh? Well, I'll talk to you, but keep it a secret. I've been watching you all day. And was it ever born? But I got a proposition for you. I'm busting out of this overgrown meat locker tomorrow, getting my little green bud back where it belongs. You give me a hand getting home, and maybe a couple of legs, and I'll give you the thing you want most in the world. Passing grade in science? No, meathead. A passing glance from Audrey Mushface. <laughs> now get some sleep. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bushed. That's plant humor. But who are you? Where are you from? How did you... Would you butt out with the questions? I'm trying to be dormant here. What a pest. I'd rather talk to a termite. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Shh. Come to think of it, it's the only exciting thing Joe Montana and rolling back a few yards. Knock Wayne Gretzky head over heels. Shake up Boomer Esiason and throw him for a loss. Playing with these guys is a lot better than playing with the real thing. Hey! Kick! You wanna play? Uh-uh, uh-uh. MVP sports stars. They're the sports heroes who like to play rough. From Ace. It's true. Baby bugs and the bug biter are back to back. This show has everything. Can the bogus Beetlejuice follow the friendly fur balls? Ha! Ah, that dweeb. This ghost host is psyched. You know it takes time for a new show to catch on. So tune in to Tiny Toons at 4. I'm drooling. And the premiere of Beetlejuice at 4.30. You might call this a sneak preview. Starting September 9th on Fox 5. Today is the first day of the rest of Junior's life. Oops! I can't wait to get down to the shop and see. Pain Driller! Seymour Krellborn. Come on, see what I bought at the spurting goods store. They were having a fire sale in the hosiery department. The most amazing thing happened last night, Audrey. Isn't it positively inflammatory? I think it could forever change the way we look at the world. Gosh, do you really think a fire hose could do all that? Hold this. So now you're ordering pizzas and leaving me to pay for them. This time you've gone too far, Seymour. I want you out of here by tomorrow morning. When I was his age, we never ate Chazarai and pizza like that. You ready for some attention from what's her name? It'll make a nice change. I'll just plant the seed of an idea in her head. Seymour's the coolest non-green dude in the world. Must be a crosswind. 
Uh oh. Has anybody ever told you you're the coolest non green dude in the world? Let's cruise! <laughs> Bringing your plan along is really cool, dude. Actually, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> Go with the flow, Seymour. I can get home in no time on this thing. I just hope it knows the way. Aren't you driving? What's driving? I can't wait to shake the dust of this place off my roof. I'm a disgrace. You got stone for ground. The walls in your face. Those square things you live in look suspiciously. Like they're made out of someone related to me. You got boxes on rubber that spit out snow. If this place weren't so sorry, it'd be a big joke. That's why I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Home. 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 Where my roots are. That's where I long to be. Free. This foul, funky, yeah. Me there. Hey, you see more. Check this out. You see plant and flower, moss and tree, living in P-E-A-C-E. -E. That's home, sweet home, where my roots are. Home. 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 Where my roots are. That's where I long to be. Free. Away from this foul, funky, yeah. Take me there. Going back to the city dump where you found me. All right, we're here. I remember when I was just a little toddler, hanging on my mother's limb. I'm gonna cry, Seymour. I smell green, Seymour. Home sweet, <gasps> my home. There's no place like home. Not anymore, there isn't. Just a bunch of stumps where there used to be trees. Petrified Forest Park. Keep off the petrified grass. These ancient trees were gradually fossilized. Uncle Herb! The sign says the forest is 200 million years old. You must have been lying dormant all that time, Junior. 200 million years? No wonder my mouth tasted like... Root rot. Don't worry, Junior. You'll always have a home with me at the little shop. Guess it beats being petrified. How did my wheels get here? Where's the moped? Must have known the way back. You know, I might just put down roots here in the future. Cultivate a few friends. You humans aren't so bad. Especially with a little salt. It's mighty green of you taking these onions out for a ride. Giving them some fresh air. He's not taking them out for a ride, Junior. Yeah? So where's he taking them? It's like some horrible nightmare. Pinch me, wake me up. Or at least see if I'm right. It's just vegetable soup. Do you eat vegetables, Seymour? I... I don't want to. My mom makes me. Junior was pretty upset about the vegetable soup. I guess he took it personally. Wake up! It's time to get busy. Rise up! Realize your reality. People been running things far too long. If you think you gotta take it, brothers and sisters, you're wrong. Azaleas, Tazinias, all your flora in between. Time to get down, get nasty, get funky, get mean. Ooh, oh, get funky. Got to potentialize your potentiality. Got to focus on, feel the energy, attitude lies. Come on, have a little spunk. You may be a lily, but you don't have to be a punk. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up! Wake up! 
No cross pollinating, getting stuffed in the pot. Later with pruning, cutting, clipping, tying you up in a knot. Forget irrigating, fertilizing, spraying and stuff. I say enough is enough, and too much is too much. Wake up! It's time to get busy. Wake up! Ooh, wake up! It's time to get busy. Wake up! Junior, what are you doing? Trying to bring back the good old days when plants were plants and you were lunch. We're through being the weak link in the food chain. Got that? Green is groovy. Power to the pollinator. These gotta be the most unmotivated plants I ever saw. You have to stop this, Junior. If Mr. Mushnick's plants start revolting, I'll get blamed for it. If you don't promise to behave, I'll... I'll have to overwater you. I don't think you can do it, Seymour. Why? Because I'm just a nerd? No, because I'm holding the hose. already put it out. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. Maybe we could put out a fire together sometime. She wants to put out a fire with me? Sounds like a hot date. Seymour! Oops. Company. Hey, Seymour! What have you done to my shop? <laughs> and to my... My flowers! Absolutely gorgeous! I knew it was a jungle out there, but now it's a jungle in here! Seymour, how did you do it? Do you think I should tell him that it was really Junior? What do I care how you did it? You little nerd Nick, you! Just don't stop! Oh, you're out of here! I knew he was all thumbs, but I didn't know they were great! Looks like you got your J-O-B back for Mr. Mushbrain. Got the spark flying with what's her name, too. I tell you, Seymour, without me, your life would be a real mess. Does everybody have problems like this when they're 13? I guess everything turned out all right after all. With Junior to make the plants grow, the shop is making lots of money. Everybody wants something from me. How can I run a business with all these customers around? Best of all, now Audrey knows I'm alive. You're breathing down my neck, Seymour. What did I tell you? Junior's still trying to teach Mr. Mushnick's plants to be revolting. All right, you bunch of sapless wonders. Straighten up. I can't hear you. I guess we all have to face a few challenges in life. part of this complete breakfast. The best part is the very, very flavor in new very, very kicks. Tastes so very, 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 very big. Excellent! I had been selected for a most important journey. I was to help fulfill the destiny of the two great ones. 
Bill and Ted. Wild Stallions rule! Whenever time stands still and trouble moves too fast, to save the future, we must learn about the past. Whoa! My dad is preparing a scrumptious Eggo waffle. The time has arrived for the Eggo stealth suit. Using state-of-the-art technology, I can move through the house undetected to make sure that warm, crisp Eggo waffle is mine. Hi, Dad. Richard? Hey, Lego, my Eggo! Success! Eggo waffles from Kellogg's, part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Richard? Oops. Guess I blew my cover. Kitty Surprise is hiding. Look, she has baby kitties. Surprise, surprise, it's kitty surprise. How many kitties are there in time? Three baby kitties. They're all so cute. Two, three, three, or four, or five. I love kitties. Surprise, surprise, it's kitty surprise. Four kitties. Beautiful baby kitties inside. Five kitties all different. Surprise, surprise, kitty surprise. Kitty surprise comes with three, four, five baby kitties. One in four comes with four or five. Each sold separately. Boy, this show makes me feel like a kid again. Now back to the show. make real animal sounds. Like a dog, a monkey, a horse, and a frog. You can bounce them around and hear the fun. I like to tease. Silly friends. Squeeze. Silly friends. Hold. Silly friends. My silly friends. Silly friends from Tiger. <laughs> it's me birthday again. But all the kids remember is me lucky charms. A delicious part of this complete breakfast. Why, it's magical mix of marshmallow shapes and colors is all they can think about. Oh, what's this? Happy birthday, Lucky! Kids, you can join the party with your own microwavable birthday cake. One's free, and Mark Box is a lucky charm. They're magically delicious! <laughs>
their flight. Young Bond. Blast it! part of this complete breakfast. You can't explain its great taste, so why try? Kellogg's Apple Jacks. We just get it. <laughs> All right. Frankie, you like Apple Jacks? <laughs> Duh. Master the ears. Well, Eagle. Couldn't be more disgusting. How about some bubbling boils and green glob? Now I'm losing my lunch. Monster Face, the gruesome monster head you make and remake into the most monstrous monsters imaginable. <laughs> then you bring it to life. Now for the test. <laughs> it works! Monster Face comes with everything shown here. There's got to be a TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. I want to welcome you all to Warfield Academy. Some of you are returning. For others of you, this is your first time here. Mitchell, someone is missing. You know I don't tolerate lateness, and never on the first day of the new term. What's this? It's an Aston Martin DB5! But it was, uh, flying. I believe it's the tardy student, Mr. Milbanks. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Bond. James Bond. Junior. That was quite an entrance, Mr. Bond. I will make some allowances, since you are new. But at Warfield Academy, we do not tolerate lateness or dust-raising entrances. Yes, sir. Very few young men and women have the opportunity to study here. You would not want to ruin your chance, would you? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I, I very much want to be at Warfield. Good. And since you want to be here, I will help you. I'm confining you to the school grounds for the entire week. But, Mr. Milbanks... A little rough on you, was he? I suspect I deserved it. If you're anything like your uncle, you <laughs> probably did. I wish I were like him. You know my uncle. Yes, I met him when I was in the FBI. Uh, this is the main hall. The gym is over there. Uh, that's the athletic field. The dorms. And this is your new home. I noticed you have quite a sophisticated security system. Well, yes, students at Warfield Academy are the sons and daughters of some important people, including yourself. The system is for everyone's protection. Looks very efficient. Most of the time. See you in gym class. Hmm. I thought this was the dorm, not the science lab. 
It is the dorm. I just uh, can't work in the science lab. Aha! Dr. Jekyll, I presume? Oh, Horace Boothroyd, actually. Uh, but my friends call me IQ. James Bond, I'm your new roommate. You must be Warfield's resident genius. <laughs> Not really, but I do like to invent things. My grandfather, Q, and your uncle are friends, you know. You're Major Boothroyd's grandson. I should have known. And what's your current brainstorm? A super conductive liquid which can boil a three-minute egg in ten seconds. However, this time, I believe the yolk's on us. When's lunch around here? I'm starved. Interesting watch. This is one of my greatest inventions. <clears throat> Observe. It even has a miniature rocket launcher. Hi, Q. You really are a genius. Gordo Leiter, meet James Bond. The latest addition to Warfield's Rogues Gallery. You know, my dad works with your uncle. This is like old home week. Yeah, catch you later. Like I feel a tubular wave coming on. A wave? Whoa! Hang ten, my man! Ah! Gordo, how many times has my father told you not to surf indoors? Hello. Oh, you're James Bond. Father's latest headache. I am. Uh, father? I'm Tracy Milbanks. My father's the headmaster. But uh, don't think for a minute that getting friendly with me will help you with him. Getting friendly with you would be a pleasure no matter who your father is. Oh, brother, what a line. Oh, brother, what a hook. I'm James Bond. You certainly are. Oh, oh, I'm Phoebe Farragut. Delighted, Phoebe. Not half as much as I am. Out of my way. <laughs> who is that? That is Trevor Noseworthy, a real twit. To say nothing of being a total dweeb. <coughs> well, sorry about that, old chap. You deliberately tripped IQ. Me? You must be joking. I wouldn't waste my time on riffraff like him. Enjoy yourself while you can, young Bond. Right, scumboard. I'll take care of him. Your eagerness to please is impressive, Jaws. However, I'm not interested in young Bond, but the Aston Martin. But you already have a nice car. I don't want the car, you idiot. I want what's in it. It contains a top-secret, high-powered, electromagnetic pulse generator. Is that good? For my scum organization, yes. For England, no. When activated, the magnetic power can erase the data from every computer system within a 50-mile radius. So? So, with England's economic and defense computers ruined, the nation will be paralyzed. And scum can seize control. I will steal the car tonight. Unnecessary. I have arranged to have the Aston Martin delivered to us by a special messenger. Who's that? By none other than James Bond Jr. himself. <laughs> Timing for a commercial break. I need another tub of popcorn. Access Hershey's Chocolates. Hershey's. Placid. Milk it. Squeeze it. Stir it. Sip it. Love it. Hershey's. Now that's chocolate ease. Is this thing on? Here, I'll show you. See, let me see. I love video scavenger hunts. Spotted dog, rock group. Rock group? Hi, Mom. I don't see geek on this <laughs> Is McDonald's on there? Let's roll. For star. Spotted dog, twins, moving van, group headstand. <laughs> Got it. Twins? Oh, I always see twins. And McDonald's. Oh. Spotted dog. <laughs> Van. I always see moving vans at McDonald's. Come on. It's moving. It's a van. It counts. Oh, check it out. 
Hey, a rock group. Works for me. What's next? Red convertible? Sky cam. Oh, what are you doing on it? Get down. I always see red convertible. At McDonald's. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're doing good. Oh, I'm doing great. Look. Twins. Not anymore. <laughs> Still need a man in uniform. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, man in uniform. I knew we'd find everything at McDonald's. Well, why don't you say something? <laughs> All right, you dirty rats, listen up. There's this cool cat in town. Squeak the eek, eek the cat. And I want you to make him feel welcome. Nice kumquats. Because he's the hotter, see? Meow! Really mellow, see? Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. And a true blue friend, see? He's one of them. Meow! So watch this happen, hairball. Don't touch that, dial. Because you'll love Eat the Cat Saturday morning on Fox. See? <laughs> There's going to be a TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. It just arrived? All right, I'll tell him. There you are, James. The post office in the village just called. They have a package for you from your uncle. It might be important. I'd better pick it up right away. Uh, don't you remember? You've been grounded for the week. Uh, is there any way to get out of here undetected? There might be. And for a ride in the Aston Martin, I might show you. But uh, that would be against regulations. Let's not worry about that just now, IQ. Daddy, are you here? Come on. Warfield was once used as a counterintelligence training base. Poking about the headmaster's quarters, eh, Bon? Noseworthy never learns. Oh, no! <laughs> Anyway, that's when they installed the secret passage. Daddy doesn't know about it. Thanks for delivering the Aston Martin IQ. My pleasure, James. Be a minute, Tracy. Okay, I'll wait here. Oh, who is that? <gasps> oh, he's coming this way. I don't understand. Why would someone tell you there was a package for you if there wasn't? Only one reason that I can think of to get us out of Warfield. Well, that sounds like the Aston Martin. But I have the keys. And uh, someone else has the car. Worse than that, he has Tracy. Thanks for coming, guys and gal. Tracy's my best friend. If she's in trouble, then I want to help. Well, let's put the pedal to the metal, dudes. I wasn't sure what it looked like, IQ, so I brought everything. Uh, no. Uh. Oh, this is it. My grandfather once told me that every MI6 car emits a homing signal. And you can track the Aston Martin signal with that? I can not only track it, I can even transmit a signal that will start or stop the car by remote control and operate its electronic gear shift. What do we do now? We follow it until we get an opportunity to act. Here, James, you might need this. IQ, this is your pride and joy. I know, but uh, you make better use of it than me. I made some modifications. In addition to the rockets, there's a small buzz saw. That'll be good for peeling the apples. Thank you, IQ. Wait! 
Hey, cool! Uh, this looks like something from an old war movie. Probably because this was once a landing strip. James, look! Scum cargo jet. What? Scum? Organization that will stop at nothing in its quest for world domination. Ugh, sounds yakola. Uh, so what do we do now, dudes? IQ, do you have any of that superconductive liquid left? Quickly, load the car, Jaws. Right, scumlord. Let's hope this works as well on engines as it does on eggs. What's wrong? I... I don't know. Must have overheated. <laughs> Tracy. Tracy. Tracy, are you all right? I removed the rear seat and hid in the trunk when Jaws. When Jaws took the car? No, Jaws. Timing for a commercial break. I need another tub of popcorn. The electronic game with the talking phone. To win, call guys, get clues, figure out which guy really likes you. He's not wearing the hat. Bye, guys. What do he say? My secret. Uh -huh. You. He's not at the beach. See you later, guys. <laughs> it's Dan. Dan, my man. You're right. I really like you. Yes. <laughs> Dream phone, the hot electronic talking phone game. It's for you. From Walt Disney Pictures, critics are cheering for America's number one comedy, The Mighty Ducks. It's a definite winner. A comedy that'll keep the entire family laughing. You'll love The Mighty Ducks. Rated PG. Now playing. They came in search of Count Chocula cereal. The double chocolatey bite of a complete breakfast. It's dark up here. Look, eyes. Moving eyes? Spooky eyes. Scary eyes. Bats? I love bats. That's why my new batty boxes have eyes that go batty. They move. Count Chocula. Now you can look for a box. There's got to be a TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. Well, well, Bond. I see you book passage on Scum Airlines. <laughs> Frankly, I don't find the stewardesses very attractive. Run for it, Tracy! Now I've got you! Let her go! I'll take you boom! Have a nice ride on your way to Scum Headquarters. <laughs> Load the car, Jones. Yes, I got that young bond and the girl inside, scumboard. Good, but hurry. It's no use. Take care of our passengers, Jones. Yes, scumboard. They're in the first class section. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. With the pulse generator in our possession, we can hold every databank in England hostage. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Scouts ball, my little pet. Ow! Sorry, Tracy. It's a bit cramped in here. How much time before we get to Scum Headquarters? Of course. Time. Time? The watch IQ gave me. It's got just the gadget that might get us out of here. Better cover your eyes, Tracy. <coughs> Crude, but effective. Now let's see if we can cancel this flight. If Jaws hotwired the ignition, so can I. James, we're a thousand feet in the air. We can't just drive out of here. No, but we can fly. Climb in, Tracy. See what that noise was. Uh, flight conversion isn't working. 
must have been damaged in my last flight. Flight conversion? You had to have been there. Bond! Don't worry, Tracy. I'm not that crazy. Get off me! What is it? It's your bond. He got loose. Well, take care of him. in the party here. Got it. Now to set this thing on an endless loop. I can't control it. We're going down. To you, Mr. Bilbax. Bond disobeyed you. There, James Bond has left without permission. You wanted something, Trevor? Mr. Milbanks, I really appreciated the time in my room. I've managed to catch up on my studies. But, but, you see, Noseworthy, Mr. Bond has done just what I've told him to do. And for this little interruption, you can spend a week in detention. But, Mr. Milbank, sir. Second. Tracy told me about your rescue, James. Good work. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. And luckily, I was able to destroy the Aston Martin. Not so lucky, James. I just talked to your uncle. That pulse generator was never in the Aston Martin at all. Scum and we were misinformed. What? You mean all that was for nothing? Well, not quite. You did save Tracy. But still, the car was destroyed. Oh, no. In fact, all the pieces have just been shipped back. Come have a look. Must I? What? Who? who? A gift from 007. Radical wheels, my man. Oh, it's a great car, James. Oh, and I just love the color. Well, let's uh, go for a ride. Sounds like an excellent idea. You don't.
rough, dangerous life of a secret agent never stops. The chief sent me to infiltrate a video dating service where DUX agents have been mysteriously disappearing. Well, here goes nothing. <clears throat> Testing one, two, three. My name is Dynamo Duck. I'm six inches tall, blonde hair, and I'm looking for a woman who's a real killer. What do you do for a living? I'm a famous international secret agent. Another DUX agent signed up for Lonely Hearts Anonymous. You know what to do, don't you? Yes, I draw him out in the open, darling, so that you can drop things on his head and make him flat like pizza. Hello, my name is Ivana. I'm looking for Big Hunk Duck. Holy mackerel, what a woman! I only did secret agents, darling. This is her address. Hello? <laughs> oh, this woman really knocks me out. It must be love. Better find another plan of attack. Ivana, baby, where are you? Don't play hard to get. Where is my little pumpkin seed? Why would she want to meet me here? Yikes! Sheesh! Hey, you nut! That's Ivana driving. This woman is crazy. I like it. Hmm. I've been hit over the head and splattered with mud. This is getting to be like a real relationship. Okay, so I showed up for more punishment. It's not because she's cute, it's my job. My job is to bury you, Dino. Talk about hard to get. That's not Ivana Duck, that's Lothar. Yuck! I'll turn the tables on him with this secret agent duck decoy. When he goes after the decoy, I'll sneak up behind him. This ought to fire up his passion. Cover your ears! Hey, the least I'm fair! All's fair in love and war. See you next time for another date with danger. Dynamo here reminding you to be kind to your animals. Will you stop it already? There comes a time when everything you care about has to change. One day we'll all look back and wish that we could start high school all over again. It all begins Wednesday, 90210, senior year. There are innumerable great reasons why you should go to Bob Lowe via Amherstburg, Ontario this year. You can drive 80 on the way. There are plentiful salt and vinegar potato chips. The kids can say you took them to an exotic foreign country. It's a short drive. Shorter. Shorter. There you go. Get $2 off each admission ticket when you mention WKBD Fox 50 at the Amherstburg or Gibraltar box office this September 5th, 6th, or 7th. Not valid in conjunction with any other discount. G.I. Joe. Weekdays at 7.30 on Fox 50. Yo, go! Here he's a drag, he's a bat, he's a cool cat, the supernatural power. So find out what it means to be a true vampire in the century. Watch you see stories and gold, a fast cars, lasers, and rock and roll. Timing for a commercial break. I need another tub of popcorn. I couldn't get this tune out of my head. Till I heard these flowers. Then a heartbeat. And the sound of mushrooms sprouting. It was raining cats and dogs in harmony. Then airplanes hit the high notes. Even the stars came out to play. Hey, I think I just wrote a song. Mario Paint. Draw and make music. Only on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts are popping up, up, up. So cool. They're hot. So hot. The taste of real food. Real hot. Hot, hot, hot. Mm, they taste so cool. They're hot. So hot. They're cool. Now, if you want all the hot taste of chocolate and marshmallow s'mores, don't forget your toaster. Mm -hmm. New Kellogg's S'mores Pop-Tarts. They didn't need to roll out the red carpet. We're just going back to the show. Mm -hmm. I've got 
plenty of nothing. Oh, nothing. Ah, Halloween, such a happy time of year. Let's see what's on the tube tonight. Ah, Bob hopes Halloween and hungry. Ooh, it's getting too close to home. What else? Yuppie something. Ooh, oh, too scary. Yuppies give me bad dreams. Ah, here we are. Something festive. Attack of the gigantic blood-sucking postal workers. Oh boy, screwball comedy. Nothing like a good laugh with those zany, psychotic mailmen. Welcome to K-Bite's all-night Halloween horror film festival. <laughs> In the quiet hours of this Halloween, we ask you, did you ever have the feeling you were being watched? Yeah! Uh, trick or treat? Did we scare you, Mr. Dracula? No, I'm doing my special exercises. What are you kids trying to do? Scare the death out of me? <laughs> Beer Bunny has been telling me all about Halloween trick-or-treating. A radical concept, isn't it, Papa? You dress weird and beg for candy bars. Cool, huh? Not cool. This is my one day off of the entire year. I have an agreement with the villagers. They can have their fun tonight, and I won't put a bite on them. Furthermore, put a lock on it, bat brains. Just because you want to cool your fangs. I think it would be good to take the children out trick-or-treating tonight. You don't have to bite anyone. It would be good exercise for my little vampire legs. Please? Oh, the sad faces. They're scarier than yuppies when they do that. Okay, okay, I give up. But wait, we can't go dressed like this. We need costumes. Ah, shucks. I guess that means... Don't worry, Master. We have costumes. I've been keeping mementos of all your, uh, clients. We can be anything you like. <laughs> hey, guys. I've got an idea, yes? Let's take our vacation in Waterloo. <laughs> I've been riding the rails for years. Maybe someday they'll give me a train. <laughs> Okay, Pilgrim. There I was, surrounded by Indians. I'd taken a wrong turn and wound up in Bombay. Okay, okay, we'll go trick-or-treating. I get dibs on the popcorn balls. Quiet, little sugar fiend. This is the one day of the year when I know exactly where Dracula is. Sitting in front of his TV, laughing at all the bad horror movies. So we must hurry before there's a commercial and he gets up for a snack. Well, at least let me trick or treat him before you blast him. No! These are far over and out costumes, Papa. You look so weirded out. I feel like an idiot. Perhaps you should reconsider your taste in victims, Master. Go for the snappy dresses from now on. Oh, dear. I ain't nothing but a hand. What'd you say? Nothing. But a hand. Play dead, you dippy dog. You're a fashion accessory for the rest of this night. Granny, what is being in the bag? Treats for all the little kiddies in the village. <laughs> Boy, I hate licorice. The feeling seems to be mutual. I'll blast the door of thunder and we'll have the vampire before. Yeah! Oh! Well, Spurgo coming through. We can dig him out, revive him, and go after Dracula. Or, get in a bit of trick-or-treating before he goes back. What'll it be? I got dibs on the popcorn balls. I can already feel the gumdrops between my... Where is everyone? <sighs> 
developers are to find these days. But find them, I will! <laughs> I'll keep an eye on the lads, Master. Go wide and long, children. <laughs> I'm open! Thank you, I got it! Come to me! Yeah, here! Oh, got you! Oh, no, yes. Bill, check out the town Halloween party. These look like my kind of people. Hold it, Mac. You gotta be in costume to get in here. But we are in costume. We're dressed like normal people. Great concept, folks, but it's gonna take more than that to get inside. Know what I mean? Are you kidding? Now, now, funny things. You promised. No business tonight. Yeah, yeah, here. Here's 20 bucks. Go buy yourself a personality. <laughs> Hold it, kids. Where's your costumes? We are in costume. We are being dressed like real-life, brutal, normal kids. Yeah, I've heard that one before. You're not getting anything until I see a trick. Sure, if that is your want and desire. Beba! <laughs> That's the third one already. Couple more houses and our bags are gonna be full. They shouldn't be so bad dudes stingy with the candy. Oh, yuck! Licorice! Ah. Yuck! Licorice! You want it? Of course not! But I do want those kids and that magic scepter! Yuck! We'll steal their candy and turn the magic scepter over to Garlic Man, thereby scoring major points with the Big Stinky Man. You like? Timing for a commercial break. I need another tub of popcorn. Hey, name is Starla. Wherever we go, we put on a show. Take our show! When you talk into Starla's magic microphone, she says what you say in her own voice. Let's sing a song. You can sing along. I like to sing with you. Nobody sounds like you, Starla. We like to share our Starla. Like it, Starla? I love it. Hey, she's talking. She's Starla. <laughs> Wherever we go, we put on a show. Starla comes with a magic microphone, so you can give her a voice all her own. Batteries not included. Recently, we compared two superheroes, Dashing Super Guy and Kirby from Nintendo. In some ways, Kirby lost big. No big hair, no big muscles, no weapons, nothing. All Kirby's got is appetite. Kirby's Dreamland, the thrilling new adventure game on Game Boy. Kirby munches, spits back, and floats, saving glorious Dreamland. He's Kirby, and he packs a mean bite. Kirby's Dreamland, only on Game Boy. Hey, check it out. It's new Air Pro Hockey. It glides on a cushion of air. Now a short demo. Wow. See? Air Pro glides on a cushion of air over smooth surfaces. It flies over black yeah. cars. Over smooth carpet. And it wails in the gym. How does it do that? A cushion of air. Air Pro Hockey comes with everything you see here. Batteries not included. Magic Potty Baby, your bottle's all done. It's potty training time will be so much fun. I help you with your training fancy you make me so proud. Your potty feels like magic, then it flushes out loud. It's fun to help Magic Potty Baby learn to use her potty. Flush and you're ready for next time. Magic Potty Baby, I'm so glad that you're Magic Potty Baby and her Magic Potty. No water, no mess. Batteries not included. Call your neighbors, call your friends, tell them to watch my show! I'm I always get what I want. Babs wants to be... 13-something! On her favorite show. How do you humans stand this get up? But what's Buster going to do... I'm like Sony without Cher. If Babs makes it big without him. You like my ears better up or down? Find out on an all-new Tiny Toon Adventures, Monday on Fox. Where is Barbie going to go? Check out a pretty new Porsche and then you'll know when it's got the coolest stickers that you've ever seen. Wow. The Barbie Porsche is a beach machine. Ooh, perfect. Come with Barbie go shopping for something new. Her trendy pink Porsche is looking hot too. Look at the stars. Yay! Ooh. She's so cute. The headlights 
Barbie Porsche car with headlights and fun stickers. You put it together. Dolls, fashions, and batteries not included. There's got to be a TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. There they go. How are we going to get them? Hmm. Since the master is not here, I will volunteer my advanced, my very advanced brain to formulate a superior idea. I got an idea! But first, let me get rid of these. So, what's the plan? We'll jump on them when they're not looking. Wow! Brilliant! You're a genius! works better than Mom's new garbage disposal. I am sure to bet Igor and Deadwood are not doing this good on their side of the street. <laughs> on the count of three, we will leap upon the lads and relieve them of their booty. I thought we were going to steal their candy. <laughs> We are going to take that candy, you idiot! And will you let go of that stupid branch before they see us? Uh, trick or treat? Get them! How about if we give you all the black jelly beans? Now, uh, what say you untie your old Uncle No Eyes and we'll play some more? <laughs> say, uh, why don't we tie you up this time, huh? <laughs> oh, my blood's rushing to my end. I don't care. Catch you later, guys. Why should we be doing that? We have already got them, Weir Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> those two simpletons could have done is leave me the car. The car! Our parking ticket! They didn't even think to put money in the parking meter! <gasps> Dracula's coats! The vampire is here! Come out of curses! I see him in the ashtray! You made me smell like a Caesar salad. And this is a rental costume. I'd better go home and watch this monkey suit or they'll make me pay for it. This is only a minor setback. Lord! They're all dressed like Dracula! How will I find the cursed vampire now? Hmm, catchy tune. A real toe tapper. Good evening. <laughs> Paul, are you okay, Drecky Poo? Hey, guys, sorry about that. Just getting into the old Halloween groove. Know what I mean? No, I don't. I'm new to this particular groove thing. Real workaholic, huh? Came right here from the office, didn't you? Say, nice suit. Guy in my office had one just like it. He's been missing half a year. Ah. My name's Howie, Howie Bilkum, and uh, you two are, uh, uh, Mark, uh, Mark Teitelbaum, and, and this is my wife, Trudy. Um, hello. 
So what do you do, Mark, uh, work-wise? Every night, I come down to the village and suck the blood of innocent victims. Hey, small world. I'm a lawyer, too. Here's my card. What do you say we get together for a bite sometime? A bite? I'd like that, but not tonight. You know, I, I promised the little woman. No business. How about tomorrow? Great idea. We'll do lunch. I don't do lunch. How about a midnight snack? Yeah, I like that concept. It's different. Well, for you, maybe, but it's a way of life with me. I'm gonna mingle, dear. I think I've just discovered something that's going to save a lot of wear and tear on my wings. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Mark Tylebaum. Want to get together for a bite sometime? Well, all things considered, this could be worse. Oh, yeah? How? What are you two idiots doing? Well, for one, he could show up. You were captured, weren't you? Oh, no! Oh, no, no way! No, not no. us! No, no, see, this is our costume. We're a... Uh, 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 pinata. <laughs> see? And a perfect costume. Do you think... It's him! Dracula's kid! This is perfect. Now I know how I can find Dracula and destroy him. And destroy him, I will! Timing for a commercial break. I need another tub of popcorn. Kellogg's Max! Let me add those sweet little pups and eat. Uh-oh. I'm back. Now for Kellogg's Snacks. We're going down, huh? Meow. You can't help falling for Kellogg's Snacks, part of this complete breakfast. I did it. Hold on, Kit! Some landing, Baloo! Yeah. But we're stuck! You can get Kit, Baloo, Wildcat, and Louie unstuck with these reusable yeah. tailspin stickers, one free in these Kellogg's cereals. The doll with genuine rollerblade inline skate, only from Mattel. Batteries not included. Ready or not, here he comes! That was record pain. Watch the world's greatest daredevil, Super Dave, later today on Fox. Class, do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. You'll always have a friend wearing big red shoes. Wait, why aren't you guys singing? We're hummingbirds. <laughs> You can be an artist with one of four McDonald's behind-the-scenes art toys. Create animation. The Jinorama! And what are you building? A masterpiece. So, who's your favorite artist? Me! One exciting art toy in each McDonald's Happy Meal you buy. There's got to be a TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. All we have to do is follow him, and he'll lead us to his father! How do you know it's him? Uh, he looks like a normal American kid to me. How many normal kids do you know with green skin? Oh, I know three. Hunker, <laughs> hunker, burn in love. Oh, the things I do for candy corn. What, what did you say? say? Nothing. Then let us join the master at the party and boogie until the cows come home. Or at least until they call in for messages. They're leaving. Quickly, after them. This will be my final confrontation with the vampire. We'll storm the party! Hey, ready when you are! Uh, yes, I'm a real party maggot! 
We have trick or treated the town dry, Mama. Look. I don't get it. None of the kiddies want my goodies. Took me all night and a sharp stick to corral these suckers. Maybe they don't like licorice. They need this more than I do. What a good time I'm having. Papa? The guys tell me I'm the life of the party. Look at this, son. Business cards? Yes, I've been networking. I've got all the victims I need for the next two years. You were right, son. I should have done this Halloween thing years ago. Hey, Marty! <laughs> Looking good! Quietly now. Don't alert the vampire. <laughs> yeah, yourself, guy. Is this a great party or what? Name's Howie. Howie Bilkum. And you're, uh... Auntie Paul. Paul Newman. Hey, catchy name. <laughs> What's that awful garlicky smell? It's the bean dip. Powerful stuff, guy. So, uh, what's your line of work, Paul? I'm on a never-ending quest to vanquish my sworn enemy, the King of the Undead! Oh, yeah? How's the pay? Forget it. No shop talk tonight. Paul, baby, there's somebody you just gotta meet. Life of the party, and he talks just like you. Well, it looks like there's a bit of a break in the old vampire hunt. Good, I'm gonna trick-or-treat the guests. Uh, Maestro, uh, do you know I only have eyes for you? Trick-or-treat, old lady. Well, it's about time you kiddies started showing up. Help yourself. It's nice and fresh. Hey, thanks, lady. I... Ah! Hey, let me out. Don't do that. Hey, don't do that either. Hey, come on, come on, give me a break. It's holiday already. <laughs> Kids and candy, they really go together all over the room. Oh, please. What? Hunker, hunker. <laughs> Mind if I cut in? Hey, buzz off, buckaroo. We're working this party. Yeah, we're waiting for somebody to eat the bean dip. Did you smell that stuff? It's gotta be deadly. Hey, let's boogie. The night is young, and so am I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I lead and no dipping. <laughs> Mark! Hey, Mark! I've got a guy you gotta meet. Run for your life, honey! Fly, little D! Save yourself! <laughs> I've got you now! I've won! You're at my mercy, King of the Undead! <laughs> uh, your mother has halitosis. We'd better do something quick, or your mom will never get the smell out of your dad's clothes. But they can't get close! <laughs> That's it! It's time for a little drag attack! Come on, fair buddy. You need to play this. How do you know I play the accordion? You are a nerd, are you not? Oh yeah, I forgot. Come on, amulet. Hey, all you party people. It's poker time! I think you can forget about victims. I think we just stepped in the bean dip. <laughs> Who cares? It's a poker! That was quick thinking, son. But it's still a party. And a good polka is a terrible thing to waste. Shall we, my dear? Oh, let's polka dump, funny things! Yuck! Licorice! You'll get worse than licorice if you don't get your bad and dude sticky body out of here. I can finally go trick-or-treating! So you want to play, huh, Handy? Okay. I got it! I got it! That's <laughs> Polka Power!
you do? Won't you sparkle for me? How did you do that? Jewel Star comes with magic wand and 24 jewels. Extra jewel packs sold separately, new from Mattel. Attention! Your gym teacher escaped from charm school, irons his underwear, watches hygiene film. He says, anyone chewing bubble tape owes me 50 push-ups. The lunch lady wears a hairnet, serves mashed potatoes with an ice cream scoop, what? puts gravy on everything. She says, Bubble tape is not part of a well-balanced diet. Bubble tape is six feet of bubble gum for you, not them. Fox just let the cat out of the bag. Ah! And this new sensation is the cat's meow. meow. Be sure to watch Eat the Cat coming up next on Fox. myself for a reason. Can anything stop the animal? The animal! It's a big, powerful 4x4. Four four. But when the going gets tough, it bears its claws to climb over things that get in its way. The animal! The animal! Can anything stop the animal? The animal! The animal clawing its way to the top. The animal, each sold separately. Batteries not included. New from Galoob. TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. The infestation victims are right over there. Very well, Mr. Uh, Elk. We'll take it from here, um, Elmo. You betcha! I'll be back to pick you up in one hour! Just gonna get some lunch! Bye-bye! Well, Jib, this must be the spot. Worst infestation I've ever seen. Sure is, Hank. Never seen anything like it. This is obviously some new terrible strain of flea, Jib. Sure is, Hank, it's a good thing we're safely sealed in our airtight protective suits, otherwise we wouldn't last five seconds here. Sure wouldn't, Jib. <laughs> hmm, now where can an elk find a decent sandwich around here? Well, this certainly has turned into a potentially uncomfortable situation, Jib. Sure has, Hank. Boy, there's nothing like a hearty breakfast to start the day right. Ah! Ah! Help! Ah! Oh! Oh! Help! Uh, Mommy! Ah! Uh, help! It's a jump doll! Hmm, I wonder 
if Sharky is so cranky all the time because he doesn't start his day with a healthy breakfast. I know! I'll make Sharky a nutritionist breakfast so he might start his day off on the right paw. It never hurts to help! Sharky? Sharky? Hello? Sharky? I've brought you some breakfast. Sharky? Just wondering if you like ketchup on your eggs, Sharky. Can you hear me? Sharky? Sharky? Do you want any of this on your eggs? Any of this? Dr. Elmo, I guess I gave him quite a scare. He's been like this for hours. Well, little kitty, it looks like he'll be okay. Just a little shook up. You know what they say, time heals all when you, um, have your cake and, um, eat it too. Hey, what's this, Dr. Elmo? It looks like an empty jar. Oh, that, <laughs> I'm not sure. I seem to remember it's pretty important from some island long ago. Very dangerous, that's for sure. <laughs> you better toss it back to me. You got it, Dr. Elmo. <laughs> Hmm, something tells me that was a bad thing. Hey, now I remember! The Sharktarian flea! A terrible strain of pests! We're gonna need help! Um, infestation hotline. Sharktarian flea? Um, we'll be right there after I dry off. Well, Hank, looks like we've completely sealed off all of the infested area. Sure have, Chip. No one can get in or out. <laughs> Move it, man! If I'm late, it'll come out of my pay, man! <laughs> Pizza Cat, man! Thanks, Mittens. We're in quarantine and aren't allowed contact with any other beans on Earth. Jeez. A kitty sure can't get hungry when he's infested. Quarantine? Man? Yeah, it's kooky. Apparently, whatever we touch becomes infested. Some kind of super flea or something. Very contagious. Well, thanks. It was great seeing you. <gasps> oh, man, busted! <laughs> Then it's decided, Hank. The only thing to do is to keep the infested foursome contained away from civilized society. That's right, Jib. We'll trick the hapless creatures into this van, drive them to Cape Carbuncle, enclose them in this hermetically sealed capsule, and send the capsule rocketing to the far side of the galaxy. That's right, Hank. The super flea will remain as deep and dark a government secret as the Amelia Earhart disappearance. The real hair conspiracy. The artist formerly known as Prince. The Walrus is Paul. The baseball strike. Elevator music. The Elvis identity change and relocation. Unidentified flying objects. Rush limbo. Fluorinated water. Fat free yogurt. Yes, sir. If the world knew our government was behind it all, the infrastructure of civilization as we know it would surely collapse, Jim. Sure would, Hank. Well, let's do it. We've got to do something to stop the madness. What? Stop itching! Scared Bernie, please eating me alive! Maybe watch TV, take mine off of itching. Kumbaya, it's Sunday. Nothing on but golf. He's lining up the shot. He's really concentrating. He's almost there. He's just about... No, no. He's lining up again. And he's about to putt. He realigns his shot. He's concentrating. He's... 
Kumbaya, look! Golf! So boring! Boring fleas to death! Hey, man! You're right! They're dropping like flies! Uh, fleas, man! <laughs> Who is that, Sharky? <coughs> really? A birthday party? And they want us to go with them? Kumbaya, what fun! And now that we've solved our flea problem, we can look our best. Come on, let's go put on our birthday suits. Well, Jib, the poor, unwitting creatures fell for the old birthday party ruse. Now, with this signed presidential authority, we can blast the doom foursome into space. <laughs> they sure did hang down and trick them out of the house and into the van cleverly disguised as birthday clowns. Gee, Mr. and Mr. Uh, clown, it sure is nice of you to offer us a ride to the party. Sure, Mr. Uh, horrible, infested, doomed pussycat. <laughs> Uh, follow us, and everything will be, uh, just fine. <laughs> hmm, I thought these clowns were not as funny as one might expect the clown to be. We're out of here, man! We're out, man! Can't stop the bus! Bus! Can't stop the bus! You said to me, you said to sad, to free you of those fleas, of those fleas. You said to cheap on his back, to bring you to your knees, down to your knees. You know I don't really think it's funny, getting eaten by those bugs. Can't stop the bus! Everybody tells me so, can't stop the bus. Oh, 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 oh! I haven't met a lot of mice, but nights have made me spun. Nights made me spun. He don't bite the spider's things, so wanna touch that bun. Don't touch that bun. I don't really think it's funny. Get me by those bugs. Boy, it sure was nice of those swell scientists to reward us for finding a cure for those nasty fleas. Boy, they sure do treat us right. Mm, sure do, man. This is great. What do you say, Sharky? Want some ice cream, man? Look at him over there, man. Just looking out the window, man. What's your problem, man? I don't know. I guess Sharky's just thinking and marveling about how everything works out in the end and how great it is to be alive. Well, me, uh, uh, back after this. I knew I freed myself for a reason. Walt Disney Pictures invites you, excuse me, to get ready. I'm off to see the world. Get set. He's got a sword. We've all got swords. For the biggest adventure of all. Get a grip. <laughs> Aladdin is here. Ah! It's a roller coaster ride filled with fun. And it's all coming to a theater near you. Never fails. You get in the bath and there's a rub at the lamp. Walt Disney Pictures' all-new Aladdin. Rated G. National Sneak Preview, Sunday, November 22nd. The Shredder comes out with a furious attack. Michelangelo fires back with a left and a right. And you're in control. Now he's really kicking some shell. Oh, what a shot! Dueling Dudes, a game of skill and action. Part of the Team Turtle Collection. The Babysitter's Club dolls are just for you. Crazy. She watches Karen. They like to play. Softball's one of their favorite games. Oh, yeah. She likes to draw. When she babysits Jenny, they have a ball. The Babysitter's Club dolls with accessories, each sold separately. If I'm elected, there'll be no charge. Maybe if I'm president, I can get tricks with yummy fruit shapes. And no homework. Excuse me. A vote for me oh. means for Rudy tasting tricks for everyone. With breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and the rabbit screen of two. I say tricks. A fruity tasting part of this complete breakfast will always be just for kids. So much for new ideas. There's got to be a TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. E. Sorry, I didn't see you there when I blew up my...
my straw wrapper. Guess I'd better be more careful. That could have been a disaster. Well, bye. You look, well, tired. What is it, boy? What do you see? Hmm, you're pointing at this can. Kumbaya, I get it now, Sharky. You're reminding me that I should save this can for recycling. That's Sharky, always thinking about the world we live in. And he's right, of course. Recycling's a great way to solve an overburdening pollution problem. Sir, it never hurts to help the environment. To help clean up this fragile jewel we call Mother Earth. Kumbaya! It looks like the recycling people missed that glass jar. Hmm, I've never seen a jar like this before. Almost seems like something in it. Something in there. Something strange. That little sea creature must have got separated from the Sea Fun World Aquarium somehow. Don't be scared, little fella. Come on out. I'm not gonna hurt you. No, oh, definitely not gonna hurt me. You won't hurt me. You're good. You won't hurt me. No. Oh. My name's Eek the Cat. What's your name? My friends call me Octo. Yeah, definitely Octo. You can call me Mr. Octopus. Eight legs. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Uh, Octopus. Hi. Mm. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, how you doing? Hi. Hi. Nice. Hi. Pleasure. Hi. Hello. Definitely hi. So what are you doing out of the water, Mr. Octopus? Shouldn't you be in an aquarium? Aquarium. Yeah. You put me in an aquarium. But I want to go home. Yeah, to the ocean. Definitely don't like the aquarium. It's kind of far from here, but I can help you get home. It never hurts to help. Come on! <laughs> Special delivery for me? Well, thank you. Who my eyes from Sharky. He wants me to meet him at this address. Says he needs my help. Well, it's on the way to the ocean. Come on! Hmm, well, this is where Sharky said to meet him. Mr. Octopus, here comes someone. You wait here, little fella. I'll see if this guy knows where Sharky is. Getting dry here. Very, very dry. Dry bad. Ocean good. Definitely good. Well, uh, hello. It sure is a nice day, isn't it? Well, not if you've been poked in the eye with a sharp stick or had your head run over by a tractor. Well, you're right about that. I never really looked at it that way. Say, are you supposed to meet someone here? Waiting for the bus. The bus. Hmm, that's strange. Strange? Crop duster. Crop duster, but there ain't any crops. Hmm, I wonder if I made a mistake. Why would Sharky want me out here in the middle of nowhere, where there's no one for miles? No witnesses if something terrible ever happens to me. Well, I guess I better get... Strange, ah! dangerous. Ah! Kumbaya, that crop duster must not realize we're down here! Ow! Hey! Ow! Ah! <laughs> Look, let's seek shelter under that purple carpet. Get him off, Pop! Get him off me!
Jib. We finally got the Hubble telescope in focus. That's right, Hank. Now let's take a closer look at the life-giving marvel we call the sun. Hmm. Jib, if I didn't know any better, I'd say the sun is minutes away from burning out, collapsing into itself, and becoming a black hole. That's right, Hank. A black hole that will suck the known universe into an endless vacuum of infinite nothingness, destroying all life forms as we now know them. Fellas, <laughs> that's us as seen from the skyline. It sure is, Jib. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Good one, Hank. How about this one? <laughs> Good one, Jib. Well, who wants lunch? Hey, All right, lunch time. is good. Let's have some food, man. Who's that, then? Oh, that's my grandfather. He's very clean, isn't he? No, not that, that. That, that. Hmm. Looks like a cat with a squid on his head. He's very gill, isn't he? Pardon us. We're looking for the ocean, so I might release my friend here, the octopus, back into his garden, under the sea. Sorry to have disturbed you. Well, now, there's something you don't see every day. Kumbaya. Unless this train is headed for the ocean, we better get off at the next station. Aw, oh, we're missing Melrose Place. Definitely don't want to miss Amanda. No. Tickets, please! Oh, boy. I sense a sprain in my membrane. Thornhill. Mmm, that's funny. There's no one here. Whoop! Oh, boy. Oh, I can't keep up this deception. I work for them, and you're in great danger. They told me you'd be coming with your red bow tie. I was to trick you and bring you to them. But now seeing you and knowing what a kind, good, and gentle creature you are, I can't go through with it. I love you. Well, that's really nice of you, but see, my name's Zeke, and I already have a girlfriend. Gee, she's really, um, fat. Really? You must go. They'll be coming for you. I know, and we don't have a ticket. And my little friend here is getting kind of dried out. Poor little lady. Guess she was more exhausted than she thought. Come on, Mr. Octopus. Let's tippy-toe out of here so we don't wake her up. Yeah, poor little lady. That's good. Definitely like to nap. Kumbaya, Mr. Octopus. Look, we made it. The ocean. We finally made it. You're gonna be just fine. Oh, ocean. Home. Home good. Definitely like home. Yep, it sure is beautiful. And hey, what's that? That figure standing by the shore, listening to the ocean's roar. It's either a little surfer girl or... Sharky! <laughs> hey, Sharky, it's me! Eek. Hey, wait there. We'll come swim with you. <laughs> I mean wave, up there! Wave, big wave! No, behind you, big wave! You're safe now. Run wild, little octopus, run free! Oh, going home. Thanks, Eek. Aw, oh, Eek's nice. Definitely like Eek. Bye-bye. Boy, it sure feels good to help, especially when everything turns out so swell and everyone has a smile on their face. Well, me... Uh, uh, back after this. I knew I freed myself for a reason. G.I. Joe doesn't get any bigger than this. The G.I. Joe Hall of Fame Collection. Duke, Stalker, Snake Eyes, and Cobra Commander. Each 12 inches tall and authentically detailed. From Duke's lifelike hair to Cobra Commander's boots. They've got cloth uniforms, metal dog tags, and accessories like weapons cases and combat helmets. And each numbered collector's edition is armed with an awesome light and sound weapon. 
for really big action. The G.I. Joe Hall of Fame collection. Hall of Fame figures come with everything you see here, each sold separately. Before Red and Stimpy, a remarkable rodent had his own show. Mighty Mouse! With hilarious heroes, here I come to save the day. And volatile villains, don't ever call me that. Mighty Mouse! Here he comes to, to save, save the, the day. day. Watch his new adventures Saturday morning on Fox. There's got to be a TV out here somewhere. The show's coming back. Can't stop the bus. Bus. Can't stop the bus. You said to bleed, you said to sad. To free you of those bleeds. Of those bleeds. You said you should chip on it back. To bring you to your knees. Down to your knees. You know I don't really it's funny getting eaten by those bugs. Can't stop the bugs. Can't stop the bugs. And the players are taking the field for Frog Sucker. <laughs> and the ball's in play. Terrific. Slam it in. Win, win. A scissor kick. He scores. The ball is bouncing. From frog to frog to frog to frog. He's leaping for it. Perfect. He takes fancy frog work. Amazing. Hot shot, the hot shot. We have a new champion, Frog Soccer. What a game. Pa hasn't told you. He's going away to school next year. Prep school. The Wonder Years, today at 5.30. Zoom, 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 zoom. Boom, 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 boom. Here he comes, that mighty mouse, coming to vanquish the foe with a mighty blow. So don't be afraid anymore, cause things won't be like they've been before. Here I come to save the day, thank goodness mighty mouse is on his way. So let the trumpet players play. For Mighty Mouse is here today. Here he comes, that Mighty Mouse. Just like a bolt from the blue, with a heart that's true. Fighting evil, fighting crime. And always there in the nick of time. Here he comes to save the day. And he will prove that crime will never pay. So let the trumpet players play. For Mighty Mouse is here today! Well, I'll be right back. But first, I'm gonna find a hot cappuccino. You start with the sticks, like so. Making a bed where the marbles go. You don't want those marbles, not at all. So pick a stick, but don't let them fall. Cause if it goes kerplunk, you're sunk. Kerplunk, from Tycho. She's Whale of a Tail Ariel. Her swim wand is magic. She can swim. Her adventure's about to begin. Who's crying? She dove right in and followed the sound. A little lost whale is what she found. Poor baby. We'll be a family. We'll have fun spot you and me. I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. The show can't miss, okay? He loves and Pimento Boy five crime. So what do you say? That's the craziest idea I've heard since the one about the flying mouse. Oh! Oh! Good morning, Mr. Concept. I represent Ralph Incorporated. The name is Mouse. Here's my card. Keep it. I've got 51 more. I've got an idea for a new show that you're just gonna love. It's called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Hmm? How original. Thank you. Our story begins in fairy tale land where the incredibly handsome Prince Charming has just awakened the beautiful Snow White with love's first kiss. Mwah. Reunited at last, together they would ride into his storybook castle. That's great. It is rather good, isn't it? There's just one small problem. Let's move the whole thing to Detroit. Why, you must be a mind reader, hi. That's just what happens next. 
Snow White and the Prince were about to ride off to his castle and live happily ever after. That ain't the way I heard it, Johnny. Nobody lives happily ever after on my turf. The Prince searched high and low for his beloved Snow White, but she was nowhere to be found. I'll help you forget. Snow White found herself in a strange new land. At first, she thought it was a dream. But it was worse than a dream. It was civilization! was still searching for his beloved Snow White. And then Lothario found a clue. Storybook Castle, Happy Valley, Gingerbread Village. It's right. Promise, promise you won't forget me in the big city. Until we meet again, old faithful mount. That's my boy. Back in Detroit, Snow White and her new agent were canvassing the town, trying to land her a singing job. But alas, most turned a deaf ear to her. Maybe I can't sing after all. Oh, don't be silly, kid. You were great. But talent alone just doesn't make it anymore. You need a gimmick in your act. Like like an accordion, maybe. Or a or a parakeet. Or seven little men. Oh no, not again. And so Snow White rented a cozy little split-level gingerbread house and set to work growing herself a band. So, she thinks she's going to grow herself a garden, eh? Go, my aphids! Destroy Snow White's garden! The very next morning, Snow White came out to check on her garden. And how are my little... I swear, with Nielsen as my witness, I'll never go dwarfless again! Go ahead, boys! A whole new patch of plants are waiting for ya! Not 
not long after, the magic day arrived. The seven new dwarves had sprouted and were ready to take their place as Snow White's backup musician. You boys showed up just in time. Time for your first birthday party. The party was in full swing when Snow White announced she had an extra special surprise for the dwarfs. <laughs> Here we are. Personalities for everybody. <laughs> yes, Snow White had collected seven separate and merchandisable personalities for her dwarves. Dinky, Filthy, Cutesy. Ah, I'm adorable, say. Gravy, Spacey, and of course, Sven, the world's largest Norwegian dwarf. He's holy, I'll stay. The final dwarf had an extra special personality waiting for him. Well, uh, I guess we'll have to call you Blandy. Sorry about that, kid. With their first nightclub performance the next night, it was time for the dwarves to go Betty Bye. Good night, everybody. Wait, where's Finn? Good night, Snow White. Good night, Spin. By the way, you've got a cavity in your left molar. Tomorrow I give my first performance. I've got to be good, but I am good. I know it, and I know that someday, someday my break will come. I haven't seen anything like this since Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger. But no matter where the prince looked, he could not find his Snow White. Come on, boy. Faster. That's it. Good boy. My beloved, I've found you at last. I'm here to rescue you from these hideous creatures. But I don't want to go back. I like it here. My friends and I are getting paid to perform here. You poor dear. These terrible conditions have made you hysterical. But fear not. One kiss from your beloved Prince Charming and you'll snap to your senses. crowd for the show. I know this defies the law of gravity, but what the hey? We were stuck for an ending. Well, I'll be right back. But first, I'm gonna find a hot cappuccino. From Walt Disney Pictures, critics are cheering for America's number one comedy, The Mighty Ducks. It's a definite winner. A comedy that'll keep the entire family laughing. You'll love The Mighty Ducks. Rated PG. Now playing. Hurry, let's go! Me, 2XL. 
He asks you questions. True or false? There are now living on your body over 200 tiny creatures. That's true. True is right. 2XL is full of fun questions and answers about animals, sports, monsters, even jokes. <laughs> what do you call two banana peels? A pair of slippers. <laughs> Who's the talking robot with a mind of its own? 2XL. <laughs> Additional tapes sold separately. <laughs> landing with one of his stomachs thrown. Mighty Mouse is trying to talk him down. Hang on, cow. I'll help you land. Hurry up, Mighty Mouse. I've got to get this beef liver to the hospital for a transplant, and this guy's got a bomb. How about tossing me that briefcase, sir? my theme song. Oh, suit yourself. Buddy Dribble is neighbor. is too violent for me. Oh no, not again. No, where am I? Hmm. This 
This place seems deserted. Hey, Thunderstick, where are we going? Like, we're running aimlessly through this old house. Isn't that right, Umfufu? Hi, my dear boy. We are searching for the infamous rat monster of Gruesome Gulch. Oh, wait a minute. Where's Ring-a-Ding? Oh, Ring-a-Ding! Ring -ding. Where, Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Slank, I'm being eaten alive, man. Oh, you look kind of cute like that. Right, Rory. You look cute. Ring a ding. Will you stop using that preposterous speech impediment and start speaking the Queen's English? Okay, everybody. Time for some squat thrusts. One, two, one, two. Hey, you guys. I think there's something in here. Um, hi. Do you know me? Where? It's a double in world, baby, and your heart is my goal. I'll pick the lock with my hair rock and get to your bell bottom soul. It's a double in world, baby, and our love couldn't get much higher. We'll do and sing, share my mood ring, and cool up with your blow dryer. Gosh, I feel my IQ dropping by the minute. Ooh. What, what is, is Mr. E? e? Well, I pity the fool who sits on my really big shoe. Now that's just plain hard to believe. Uh. Say there, chump. Have you been picking on my ethnically mixed buddy? Uh, oh, hey, put me down, sir. Ick. Oh, I've got Blue Cross. Whoa. Why's nice going, Mr. E? You caught the rat monster of Gruesome Gulch. Say, hey, I'll bet he's really the crooked land developer who's been buying up all the property. Don't be silly, Thunderstick. He's got to be the shifty lawyer who's trying to get the building condemned. Well, Zykes, let's take off this costume and see what he really looks like. Hey, watch it! Oh. Oh, hey, there's no one under here, just a neck and some tendons. Aw, oh, this show's got no pro-social values. Now I know why they call television a medium, because nothing on it is rare or well done. Yes, kiddies, it's time for another episode of Rocky and Hoodwinkle. Hey, let me out of here! Where's my lawyer? I want to see the wood! As this episode begins, our heroes were about to discover a cure for cancer. Hoodwinkle, the none too bright moose, was mixing together a special solution that would eliminate the nation's number one affliction. At last! A cure for loud Hawaiian shirts. Hey, Rocky, have you beaten that bag into powder yet? Uh, I'm almost finished, you know. Why, Hoodwinkle and Rocky, good to see you again. Put her there, pals. Uh, oh. Sorry about that, Mighty Mouse. Rocky just got a little excited. Oh, that's OK. At least it was a friendly fist. How are you two doing, huh? Oh, me and Rocky here are blazing new trails in scientific discovery. Right, Rock? Yeah, huh? Well, I always say, if you want to look smart, hang around with dumb people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Oh, no! It's the real Gagbusters! Yes, it's the real Gagbusters. Four totally off-the-wall characters sworn to eliminate any trace of humor in the world today. Hey, look. These guys are telling jokes. They're not supposed to do that. Yeah, next thing you know, people will start laughing at them. We gotta stop them, okay? But how? 
Oh, I know. Let's select them out with extreme prejudice. Ready for cancellation. Aim. Oh, no, you don't. Not my cartoon buddies. Fire. Woo! Finish him off. No! 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 Now beat it, you little Monty Banks. Back to Whimsy Town with you. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I didn't know you wore a rug. It may not be much, but each strand's got a muscle. Ah, this show just plain stinks. Oh no, not this time. Hold it, wait, stop the music. So, you're the one who's been changing the channels on me, hmm? you naughty little boy. Why are you doing this? Because I'm bored. Well, of course you're bored. Look what you're watching. Of electronic pablum! <laughs> Imitation is the sincerest form of television! But, but what else is there to do? Why, a million things, my boy! Go outside and play! Breathe fresh air! Ride a bike! Read a book! Pester your parents! Too much of any one thing is bad for you! Even good TV! Yes! Yes, you're right! I'll go out and play right now! Good! But remember, if you must watch a television show, be sure to watch the all-new adventures of Mighty Mouse! And all the reruns, too! <laughs> yes, sir! Yes, sir! But enough of this lying and hypocrisy. Time for what television's really about! We'll be right back. First, I'm gonna find a hot cappuccino. From Walt Disney Pictures, when Aladdin rubbed the magic lamp... I'm your master? And wrong! He unleashed a genie who's polite. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Who's helpful? The exits are here, 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 Anywhere! Who's eager to please? Oh, no way! <laughs> Aladdin's every wish is his command. Don't miss Walt Disney Pictures' all-new Aladdin. Where'd you dig this so up? Rated G. National Sneak Preview, Sunday, November 22nd. Let's go racing! It's Super Mario Kart Funny Car Madness! Only on Super NES! Turn the track into a giant mud pit! Or burn rubber on ice, wood, or asphalt! Fly. Mix it up for the big boys! See Bowser and his big foot chopping truck! See Yoshi's go-kart really go! Mushrooms, banana peels, turtle shell! Dino Might! Check your rear view and make a mean test! Or go into battle mode and ruin his day! Two speed! Fast and way too fast! It's two-player fun on the split screen! Only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System! Now you're playing with power! Super Power! I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. Kids, Super Dave here to tell you there's an out-of-control space lab in big trouble in today's cartoon adventure. And at the end of the show, I'll be doing a live stunt in the world's biggest yo-yo. When lives are at stake and the danger too great, there is but one hero daring enough to rise to any challenge. He's incredible. He's spectacular. He's Super Dave Osborne. Daredevil for hire.
emergency systems. We're about to hit space garbage. Sorry, man. We won't have another launch for months. But we're running out of oxygen. Good point. Hold your breath and we'll get back to you. Oh, oh, please hurry. And tell my mother not to worry. <laughs> I'm worried sick. <laughs> Who would take me to Super Dave? Good news, Super Dave. With the help of I, Dr. Max Payne, you have survived another unbelievable accident. You're as good as new. Great, Doc. Uh, can we take off the cast? Absolutely! No, not too far. You could cut Super Dave. Ow! Oh. Here, let me do it. Much safer way. Uh-oh. How was that, Super? Just perfect. Fuji, do me a favor. Right now, I'm in a lot of pain. But remind me later to scream at you. Oh, all right, Super. But now you have to meet someone. <laughs> don't worry, sweetheart. You don't have to cry. I'm fine. <laughs> Forget it. Keep it. It's yours. Oh, Super Dave, you're the only one who can go into outer huh? space and save my son. <laughs> outer space? Gee, I'd love to, but I think I have to be home for the TV cable guy. But I'll pay you. Pay me? Madam, you're talking to an American legend. I'm not like those other fly-by-night daredevils. Money doesn't run my life. card. Fuji, this woman needs our help. Prepare for space launch. You got that, Super? <laughs> How can I ever thank you, Super Dave? <laughs> Please, no need for thanks. This is me, Super Dave. Just sign here and F550 for the handkerchief. right back and see if we can't shed a little light on things. I love to shop, don't you? I can't believe my ears. I can't believe my eyes. Every teen thought farming is a different surprise. Mine says, want to have a pizza party? <gasps> Mine says, you're my best friend. Uh, and now she says, meet me at the mall. Cool. What's she going to say next? Listen. Do you have a crush on anyone? <laughs> you won't believe your ears are high. Teen talk farming, what a surprise. <laughs> Each Teen Talk Barbie doll says four different fun things. Barbie dolls each sold separately. When you get up in the morning and you want to take your fun. You call for sugar bear and golden crisp, the golden tasting one. With a touch of golden honey for a taste of solid gold. Crispy crunch, we got a munch. Makes that golden taste explode. Can't get enough of that golden taste. Can't get enough golden crisp. So to make your morning golden, get the flavor going fast. It's golden crisp cereal, the golden tasting blast. Can't get enough of that golden taste. It's the golden tasting part of this complete breakfast. I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. Ah, uh, great! Just a few minor adjustments, and you're ready to go, Super Dave. Ah! Uh, oh. <laughs> Fuji! This takeoff is killing me! How long does it last? You stood on the ground, Super Dave. I was just checking air pressure. Then when am I leaving? Now! I guess it's silly to ask, but is it too late to abort this mission? Ah! Yahoo! That was killer. Thank goodness it's over. Releasing booster rocket! Fuji, listen to me. Don't tell anyone about my space mission. Oh? 
Mission Control said what I'm about to do is impossible. And the last thing Super Dave would ever do is embarrass his own government. Of course you wouldn't, Super. Remember, this is top, top secret. Oh. Ah. I almost hit a TV satellite. That was close. That could have been galactic pain. I can't get him off the screen. He's on every channel. I say, that super chap's looking well, don't you think? You're wrong. It's a live broadcast. Super Dave would never do reruns. And the big news is that Super Dave Osborne is off to rescue the stranded astronauts. Super Dave! No! Hell! No! Hell! <laughs> Here's more live footage of the world's greatest daredevil hero in action. No! I'm the greatest! Me! Slash Hazard! And I'll prove it! Hi, kids! How you doing? This is so much easier than I thought. I even have time for a quick coffee break. Okay, Super. But be careful of zero gravity. I've landed, if you can call this landing, but I don't know where. It's a big pile of space garbage, Super. How do you know? Because you're on television. You were pulling the world communication satellite. You're on the radio, too. And Super Dave is at it again. Also on the refrigerator. <laughs> and washer dryer. Microwave, too. about my mission. What do I do now? Everything under control, Super Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, I activated your spacesuit. Can you see Space Lab? I see it. And I'm preparing to brave my way through space garbage and make the rescue. Not a chance, Super Dave. Slash Hazard. You see, kids, Slash robbed the bank. I told the cops. They chased him into a car wrecking machine, and he was mangled into the freaky mess he is today. For some silly reason, he blames me. I don't know what you're upset about. I sent you a Super Dave hat. Would you like an autographed pair of underwear? Could you give me a hand? I'm falling. I'll give you a hand, a metal hand. Now I want your destruction! I can't give you that, pal, but I can give you a nice lunch. Be with you in a minute! The problem is, we've never talked Daredevil to Daredevil before. Do you prefer your salad fork to the left or right of your dinner fork? Or do you use a fork at all? Slash. Slash. You I'll show you what you can do with your fork! Well, we didn't gain any weight from that meal. Uh oh! Does this mean you know what dessert? I've got some fruit yogurt. Yappa! Woohoo! Yeah, fine! Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I may not look it, but I am in extreme pain here. This is the last stunt you'll ever pull, Super Dave! Yahoo! Uh, now I'm the greatest! I just hope the Guinness Book of World Records is watching. With the pain I'm about to experience, I could make the cover. My life is over. Sheesh, we'll be right back. They'll do anything to get me to watch commercials. Swore so gym teacher, Mr. Bonazzo, <coughs> thinks we eat Kellogg's Frost so many weeks because it's... Very nutritious, and they know I don't have a clue. The sweet taste is so cool, and it's loaded with... Whole grain wheat. I've told them a thousand times. 
they need. Frosted, yeah. And lots of this stuff. Is essential for proper character development. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats taste so good, who cares about anything else? Besides, it's part of this complete breakfast. One day, they will be the pillars of the community. Wait till you see Barbie's trendy little sister. Gorgeous hair, an adorable hat, and even cute little bows. She's got clothes for a party, clothes for shopping at the mall, clothes for school, and that's not all. Sharing so much fun to do. Those Daisy clothes for Barbie, too. Barbie couldn't have a better sister. Stacy doll comes with a backpack and shopping bag. Her skirt, top, and jacket fit Barbie, too. Barbie dolls sold separately. Incredible. Headed for McDonald's. Whoa. It's Barbie. It's Cosmo. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cosmo. How about a Big Mac? <laughs> hey, Cosmo. Hey, Cosmo. What? How about a Big Mac? I swear in my mind. McDonald's, man, let's ride. Oh, let's just grab me. I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. Fuji, can you hear me? Sofa, is that you? I'm falling to Earth at 150,000 miles per hour. I need some help. Don't worry, Sofa. We'll have plenty soft landing ready for you. You know, sometimes my life really stinks! No, no. That's too small to say Super Dave. No, oh, that's ugly color and still too small. This is too bouncy. Don't want Super Dave to get dizzy. Help me! Uh, that was record pain. Listen, kids, if you're planning to write a fan letter, you better make it quick. Because by my watch, I don't have a lot of time left. <laughs> oh, I bashed him! I bashed Super Dave! <laughs> now I'll make the whole world hate him so much, even Fuji won't come to his funeral. <laughs> I'm Super Dave Osborne, and I'm here to save you! Yeah! Yay, Super! Super Dave! Yeah! 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 Hey! What's going on? Oops! <laughs> Super Dave just destroyed your landing gear. Whoa! Oh, and your communication system. Oh, there goes your computer systems. Come out and finish them off! Oh, fudge. I just put a leak in your last oxygen tank. Next time you need to be rescued, call my good friend Slash Hazard. He's the greatest! <laughs> Fuji, what do we do now? I'll get you right back up there, Supa. But how? We only had one rocket. I took care of that. Rocket skates. Rocket skates? To shoot you up ramp. Shoot me up ramp? That's 40 miles high. I know. I didn't have time to build a big one. First, I give you Supa Bonanza backpack. <clears throat> also, it is all parasol. Flight time, wind jump, reverse parabolic, full water, and finally, Super Dave Army Knife. Now, I fire rocket skates and you blast off. Boy, is this heavy. Fuji, there's much too much weight. Give me back Super Dave Army Knife. What is that going to do? Yahoo! You're running out of oxygen! Super Dave blew it, and the whole world knew it! I'm right on target for a perfect rescue! Almost! Ah! Oh! Yahoo! So, Slash, we meet again! Oh, gee, why do you always have to go and spoil everything? No fair!
Cut up, you dukes! Excuse me one moment, you're standing on my shoelace. Oh, sorry. I'll turn it. Okay, I'm ready. That was easier than I thought. Hey, real Super Dave. Our oxygen is completely expired. Relax, gentlemen. We can now take the Super Dave capsule back to Earth. Stop pushing! No one treats slash hazards like this! Oh, the evil guys are always heavier. Get here. All right, gentlemen, listen up. It's obvious that we don't have room for everybody. That leaves us with two options. One, you can all go back to Earth without me. Don't you want to hear the other one? Fuji! Hello? This is Fuji. I can't come to the phone right now, but at the sound of the beep... Fuji, turn off the message machine. It's me, Super. I'm in big trouble. Oh, Super Dave. Good news! Your rescue is getting great TV ratings! Swell! Now get me down from here! Hold on, Super! The President wants to talk to you! I, I bet you in! Well, congratulations, Super Dave. The world will always remember you. Well, that's great, Mr. President. But I'd really like to come back to Earth one more time so I could possibly put Fuji into a pencil sharpener. Ooh! Well, there's only one way. There's an atom-powered retro rocket under the space lab. Now, if you can get down there and strap it on your back, you can blast back to Earth. And to think I voted for him. Do you have burn-proof titanium gloves? Do I have them, Fuji? Yes, right here. And you'll need magnetic shoes to climb beneath the lab. I suppose they're also back at the compound. Ooh, on your feet. And the best part is... I can activate my remote control. Ah, take it easy, Fuji. Now carefully slip the retro rocket on. That's easy for him to say. He's not upside down. Now put on earmuffs. Retro rocket make big explosion. And then press button. The rocket's not working. It's on delay switch. What? Wait a minute. I can't hear you. Now, what did you say? It's on delay switch! <laughs> Good news, Super! White House says space lab will eventually fall safely to Earth! What about me? I'm freezing! Don't worry. Pretty soon you heat up. Ah! Now I'm on fire! It's okay. Heat will inflate your safety suit. How do I get out of this? Your body temperature will cool and suit will automatically deflate. Good news. I thought it was going to explode. You're fine. Fuji, I'm just going to take a little cat nap. Hold my calls. Super Dave! He's not the greatest. I'm the greatest! First, I'll break out of the loony bin. Then, I'll rob a bank. Then, I'll buy an H-bomb! I'll get that Super Dave! Well, you're a real American hero, Super Dave, and you too, Fuji. How can I ever repay you, Super? Anytime Super Dave can help a mom apple pie in the space program, he'll be there. <laughs> By the way, sweetheart, when you signed this credit card receipt, you forgot to leave a tip. Super, you're the best! Thanks, Fuge. I couldn't have done it without you. Actually, I could have done it a thousand times better without you. But I want to end this adventure on a happy note. By the way, call me when that stupid space lab comes back to Earth. I'd like to get a picture with it for the Wall of Fame. wanted me to call you when the space lab came back. Yes? It's back. I can take a picture now, Super. I'll tell you how hurt I am. 
I said cheese and it made me cry. By the way, kids, if you're out playing this week, see if you can find my lips. See you later. We'll be back right after this. Where do you keep the refrigerator? Part of this complete breakfast. The best part is the very, very flavor in new very, very kicks. Tastes so very, 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 very big. It's the new bottle from Kool Aid. Kool Aid Cool Bursts in First Away. We first off with a very glass. First the best. Our Cool Burst bottle stops a thundering first when he first the best. And when the heat's the worst, there's nothing like a burst. First, the best. Kool-Aid Cool Burst Soft Drink, it's... Wacky Wild! Cool Burst! Die. I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. Hi, kids. Super Dave Osborne here. Was that fabulous? I love space adventure. I just wish the ending had been a little different. You know what I mean? Anyway, what we're going to do right now is a live stunt. I am going to get into a 16-foot yo-yo, atomically powered up a string. I'm going to walk the dog, rock the cradle. It's going to be spectacular. Watch this. This will be propelling me up and down as I do my tricks. Now, again, something very important is once the yo-yo uh, starts up at 110 miles an hour, I will be doing my own stunts. In other words, the uh, motor just gets me up in the air and winds the yo-yo up the string. Then it's up to me. I mean, I don't want to say I'm doing a big deal, but I don't want you to think the whole thing is motorized. Guys, let's go. See you in a moment, Good luck, Michael. Sue. Guys, if you'll help me in. All right. Just slide me in. All right. It's a good fit. Put the rope on, Spag. Wait a minute. We don't check motor. I don't know. Something wrong with Mota. What do you think problem is, Ruby? Great. Uh, wait. Let's let's check it, Fuji. All right. Wait a minute. Gentlemen, I'm in the yo-yo here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, I can use some assistance. Oh, thank goodness for the fence. Oh! Yahoo! Oh! Oh, boy. See you next week, kids. I think I scraped my knee. I'm going to need a Band-Aid. I am Batman. In my brand new amazing adventure, it will take everything I have to save Gotham City from the Penguin's latest diabolical plans. What will happen when that foul fellow takes to the skies in his armored super stealth plane? You'll have to see it to believe it. Don't miss this exciting all-new episode of Batman, the animated series, Monday afternoon on Fox. Sugar. Where am I? You're 
sugar blue station. It's where you go when the sugar rush ends. But don't worry, there is a way out. But you have to eat more sugar to get there. <laughs> Wait, there's another way out. Healthy as she likes. Broccoli? An apple? <laughs> Fresh fish. A sandwich? A sandwich? Ooh, that was close. Ooh, it sure was. Remember, a balanced diet helps keep you healthy. And eating too much of any one thing... Like sugar. ...can throw your body out of balance. Part of playing it safe is keeping your body safe on the inside as well as the outside. Welcome to Dynatron City. Proud symbol of the atomic age. Cooking is safe and easy in a kitchen filled with atomic appliances. And what better way to top off a neutrino nutritious breakfast than with a frosty Proto-Cola, everyone's favorite soft drink. Dad's ready for an exciting day at work. Because in Dynatron City, everyone knows that hard work and a good attitude is what builds a great future. An atomic future. Because atomic power is safe, clean and inexpensive. The power of the future. The power of Dynatron City. Why does the engine glow like that, Mommy? Uh, because it's radioactive. Wow! Yes, remember, Timmy, here in Dynatron City, Mr. Atom is our friend. <laughs> Looks like I just got that extra hand I've always needed. <laughs> That's great, dear. Yeah, Dad! Cool! <laughs> yes, silly. Cool. Thanks to Mr. Atom, everyone in Dynatron City is happy, and mutation is a way of life. <laughs> Improved mutation causing atomic protocola was supposed to terrify these Dynatron City dolts into leaving. Instead, it's a big hit. <laughs> this is a problem? You could get rich. But not rich enough. I want to rule Dynatron City. <laughs> this is my city. I was the one who designed it. Me, Dr. Mayhem. Yes, but that was before you became an evil mutant genius. <laughs> Don't sass me, you semi-evolved simian. Remember, it was my atomic protocol syrup that made you what you are. You're lucky I let you live after you dumped the vat of syrup over my factory's atomic generator and mutated it into this useless piece of low-class modular statuary! <coughs> now! Ow! Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh now I am forced to rely on stupid, archaic electricity for my next evil plot! Create a conquering army of robot drone soldiers! Wendy? Mary Middlefield? Brett, this is Mary. She works for the electric company. What are you doing here? Someone in this plant has been using a whole lot of electricity lately, so the company sent me here to find out why. Horse buckles, more interruptions. Well, I'll take care of them. Go away. I'm a busy man. Now, just a minute, sir. I was hired to deliver that last load of protocola. Well, I'm done. 
so I'd like to be paid now. <laughs> Total control is inches from my grasp. And who wants wages? Wait a minute, mister. Get lost, sucker. And I am a doctor. Well, Brad, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go in there and kick some butt. Oh, yeah. Good idea. How about it, Mary? We'll help. Stand back. I'll go through this fence like a buzzsaw. All right, you cheapskate. Where's my money? Looks like no one's here. I, 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 I'm here, but uh, I really wish I wasn't. It must be some kid who's mutated into a part monkey. A monkey kid. <laughs> I, I, actually, I'm a monkey degenerated into part human. Say, how about getting me out of here? <laughs> Welcome to the free world, you little monkey kid. Freedom? Yeah, right. We won't be free for long if Mayhem comes back. Wow! Look it! Robots! <gasps> so that's where the electricity was going. Yeah, uh, well, that's why Mayhem didn't pay, you see. <laughs> He's planning to use these robots to conquer Dynatron City, so he figured why bother. Quick, let's get out of here! No, we've got to stop it. It's our duty as citizens. We'll inform the proper authorities. Mm -mm, there'll be none of that. From now on, the only proper authority in Dynatron City is me! Get them! You melon-headed megalomaniac! Truth, justice, and Dynatron City will prevail! That only happens in comic books, fool! Now, child baby, I am off to victory! Dynatron City will be mine! <laughs> I love my life! It's no use! Get! Break free! Ugh, they even chained my toolbox! If only I had an electric cutting torch! <laughs> I could use a banana right now. What was that? Looks like these chains were designed for humans, but not monkeys. Yes, bananas, here I come. Wait, rescue us first, please. In a minute, in a minute, all right already. Yeesh. I hope this works. Oh, yes, yay, he made it. <laughs> Now or never. I guess only mutant superheroes can stop Mayhem now. Time to give that atomic syrup the special Proto-Cola Mutant Fizz!
strong. Yeah. And I'll call you a uh, yeah, yeah, radium doll. I may be a toolbox, but I know a prison when I see one, and I'm getting out. Great, what is this, Halloween? Let's go! I feel like going! We're going! Wait! Wait! We need a plan! Dynatron City has fallen! My rule is complete. The city that I created is a city I now rule. Better order a padded seat for your throne, Mayhem. What? Because we're about to turn your rule into drool. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting... Uh... Presenting... Oh, that's good. Presenting the Defenders of Dynatron City. Where did you come from? We're the guys and gals you left chained in the tank. But now we're mutant superheroes come to defeat you. You've lost your heads. Glad you mentioned it, Mayhem. Saw girl, just watch me. Oh, this is ripping, disarmed and defeated. City. My robot army is devastated. Time for plan B. <laughs> Run away! I love this city. Hooray for Dynatron City. I'm really charming. Uh, excuse yes. me, folks. Yay. We win. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah! I'm still out there! Curses! My robot smooshed, and all I have left is a useless piece of contemporary art! What's this? An on-off switch, of course. Even evil geniuses sometimes overlook the obvious. Atom Ed, the floating head at a service muscle. Full inanimate mutagens charged. Come on, I serve you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> See if we can't shed a little light on things. This is George Wilson. 
I've been asked to say a few nice words about my neighbor, Dennis Mitchell. I could sooner fly to Mars. Of course, if I had a pack of wild animals living next door, it would be worse, but not by much. Anyway, be sure to watch Dennis the Menace on this station. Are you okay, Mr. Wilson? Dennis! Dennis the Menace, weekdays at 8.30 on Fox 29. Toucan Sam to reveal big news today. Toucan Sam, what's the news? You all know my Kellogg's Fruit Loops. You mean a delicious part of this complete breakfast with a day supply of vitamin C? Yes, with the flavors of humongous orange, gigantic lemon, and mammoth cherry. But now there's a new food flavor, colossal lime. Wow, a new lime green fruit flavor. And colossal lime is in every box. Yes. Kellogg's Fruit Loops with big fruit taste. New colossal lime. You can try them too. Hi, Mom! Hi, kids. You want to hear my talking dog? What's he say, Ronald? Spot what's on top of a house. Roof! How does sandpaper feel? Ruff! But Ronald, any dog can say that. Well, they were easy questions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you potato head, kid? Yes. They were real fun. Because they're silly. I know. We're going to McDonald's. The potato head kids are here with McDonald's potato head kids happy meal. Wow. There's eight. One in each happy meal you buy. <laughs> Greetings, Dan and Dave here on location for Pop Tarts at Dwayne's house. Dude, you're late for school. No way. Yes way. Bogus. Dwayne is tardy. Good one. It's their sign for Kellogg's Pop Tarts, seen here as part of a most complete breakfast. You know, it's the bountiful, real fruit filling. Strawberry. Pop Tarts. The totally, totally tasty thermal pastries. Dave, when do we tell them it's Saturday? <laughs> I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, excuse me, listen, we're really gonna need a good plan of action here. Ugh, thinking is boring. Let's just smash down the factory, blow up everything inside, and pound Mayhem's head into a shattered bag of skull fragments. What do you think? I think that's my kind of plan. Let's go! No! Let's go! No, 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 Mayhem, we're bringing you to justice. Are you gonna come quietly, or should we humiliate you in front of your robots first? You're about to learn what humiliation really means, defenders. Get there, Mohammed! All right, now everybody listen. I've got a plan. Ah, don't sweat it, monkey kid. This is how I do my handwork. Electric speed? So, you think you're pretty sparky, huh? Well, a little insulation ought to give you some resistance. Oh, insulating foam, I'm grounded. Oh, this is easy. If there's one thing I understand, it's machinery. Mutagen Sarah, I will mutate all of Dinatron! 
Smart City into my obedience servants. Starting with you! Soon you will be my evil servants! And Diamond Smart City will be mine! 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 <laughs> Say there, monkey kid. Well, you said a while back uh, something about a plan. Oh yeah. Um. Never mind. Whoa. Oh please, Dallas. Oh, we want to hear it. Come on. Oh. All right. Then listen up, you boneheads. Now hear this. Just because you're mutant superheroes doesn't mean you can just joke around and show off your powers. We've got to become a team, or we're all dead! All right, all right, we're a team! Good, terrific, super. Now, the first thing we do as a team is, we're all to the left, now! <laughs> now let's do some teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> that floating head is what's controlling it. You distract the building while I stop that head. I can't believe I'm doing this. No! Blow your stack! You got it, monkey kid! Stop that! <laughs> you filthy animal! Get off my creation! Stop it! Stop it this instant! Looks like this calls for it! My patented stretch retractable door alloy factory tripper! Can you give me a hand, Jack? Toolbox, good buddy? I'll do more than that! <laughs> Gee, it worked in Star Wars! Hang on, Jet and Toolbox! You need a woman's touch here! Dr. Mayhem is all washed up. Oh, this is ripping. We saved Dynatron City. It was working as a team that did it. Yeah, but there may be other dangers. <laughs> other villains like Mayhem. Maybe even Mayhem himself. Say, let's make the defenders of Dynatron City a permanent team. With a headquarters and cool vehicles and official decoder rings and fan clubs and everything. Now that's my kind of sellout! Hey, I think that's a swell idea! And for our team leader, I nominate Monkey Kid! Monkey Kid's What's got the brains! Monkey Brain! Oh, 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 monkey Brain! Oh, oh, shit! Monkey Kid! Monkey Kid! No, I, I, I can't! Yeesh! I don't even know what I'm doing! But that's all part of the great leadership tradition, Monkey Kid! <laughs> <laughs> you just wait, Dinatron City! Dr. Mayhem is coming back! Well, I'll be right back. But first, I'm gonna find a hot cappuccino.
My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. <laughs> My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. That's nice, Harold. But what are they saying? They say that three strange dudes will come into my life. Hey! Who are you calling strange? Yo, Stereo! Kellogg's Rice Krispies are the fun part of your complete breakfast. What did your Rice Krispies say to you? Mine says, beware of him. my house. They were kid stuff until one day. It's Cool Whip time, baby. Was this really happening? Yeah, I miss the Cool Whip, the hippest in town. To make your snacks the best around. A little Cool Whip, a cookie or two, and baby, your snacks will be so good. With Cool Whip, those boring snacks will never be the same. How'd you do that? Well, it's Cool Whip time, baby. And I smell a rat slicing through the swamp. It's a pack of cobra rats with spinning saw blades and deadly rotor missiles. But Goop's got the G.I. Joe Barracuda with dive action tablets for real submarine action and torpedoes that fire. G.I. Joe Barracuda and cobra rats sold separately. Mind if I cut in? Talk about your close shave. I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. Legend continues. The exciting conclusion to threesome. I knew he'd run. He won't be coming back either. This thing blankets the city with ultra high frequency sound. <laughs> and look who's coming to Smallville. Luther and Odessa are here. We have to warn Superboy and make him leave Smallville. Oh, oh no! The boy who steal and Lana take out the trash on the next Adventures of Superboy. Saturday at 6 on PHL 17. How many? That's a surprise! 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 How many puppies are there inside? Three puppies! And they're all surprise, different! Surprise! Surprise! Puppy, surprise! Four puppies! How many puppies are there inside? There could be three or four or five! Five! I can't believe my eyes! Surprise! 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 Puppy surprise! Puppy surprise comes with three, four, or five baby puppies. One in five mommy dogs comes with four or five puppies. Each sold separately. Across the universe, now we're 
be right back and see if we can't shed a little light on things. Kellogg's Corn Flakes for a Corning Beans Booster. Nothing gets you crowing in the morning like Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Part of this complete breakfast. The 1992 Kellogg's U.S. Olympic Team Sports Watch. Free with three proofs of purchase from Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Right on time. Let the games begin. It's the adorable stars of the Disney movie 101 Dalmatians. Where are they? And now you can bring them home. 101. Hmm. Adventurous Patch. Plump little Rolly. 101. Kinds of cute puppy fun. I want those puppies. Come on, <laughs> I'll always protect you. New 101 Dalmatians plush puppies and parents. Each sold separately. This is my Petra doll. I brought her from Europe to introduce her to you. Petra has lots of neat clothes. Barbie can wear Petra's clothes because they're the same size. And I would like that. Petra has clothes for school, party, and play. Petra's clothes are sold separately. It's so much fun to play with Petra and Barbie together. <laughs> Petra is made by Lenby Toy International and has no relationship with Mattel or Barbie. Welcome Petra into your home from Lenby Toy International. I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. Princess Angelica, you are the last star child of the blood. The Dark Queen will do anything to get your Galactico amulet. You will hide your head in the Spandera Nebula. I'll have the amulet. And the pretty blonde head of the one who wears it. Uh, but, Your Majesty, we could lose them in the Nebula's dense electromagnetic fields. She won't get away. Her royal guard is wiped out. Her only friend in the entire universe is that crackpot, Professor T-Bird. Who could possibly save her now? <laughs> Morgan Ziegler, Dave Shar, George Pye. You three are the biggest losers in the history of Waldo P. Oxnard Jr. High. And why? Because you're a bad influence on each other. So I'm splitting you three up. But, sir, you can't do that. We're ah! our only friends in the entire universe. From now on, you don't sit together. You don't hang out together. You don't get within 20 yards of each other. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Greetings, fellow kids. Can I join in your cosmically fascinating game? Get lost, Toad. But I'm like a totally evolved basketball player. Oh, hey, watch oh, 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 come on. Hey, oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, nice going, Toad. Let's hurry up with those signs. The big game is tomorrow. You'll never get any attention with those wimpomatic drawings. How's that for a totally eyeball flying attention grabber? That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life, except for you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? And what do you know about fine art? Aw, oh, come on, let me help. I'm good at organizing. What did you ever organize, Morgan Ziegler? Ah, uh, well, nothing, now that you mention it. But, but I could be a great leader. I mean, if I knew how, that is. If I had any experience at it. Ah! <sighs> hey, come back. I was just getting warmed up. <laughs> what? Professor Tebert, why have you brought us to this horrible place? Well, I admit the surroundings are a tad on the unpleasant side, Your Highness. <clears throat> but if my guess is right, this tomb contains the one thing which can save you from the Dark Queen's clutches. Yes, the genetic essence of the Battletoads, the guards of your royal ancestors. But the Battletoads were wiped out eons ago. But with this essence, we can create a new generation of Battletoads to protect you. Ah! The Dark Queen, she 
just found us! We must find some volunteers to become Battletoads! Where will we find people we can trust? On a distant planet in a remote solar system. A planet so backward and insignificant that the Dark Queen never bothered to conquer it. A mysterious planet called Earth. In the town of Oxnard, California. Oxnard? It sounds so mysterious. If real life was like this, battling alien monsters, warping between the galaxies, right, and we'd still be the three biggest losers in the universe. Whoa! Boy, they sure make these games realistic nowadays. Please do not fear us. We are interstellar travelers seeking sanctuary on your remote planet. This is the Princess Angelica. If she is not protected, the entire universe will fall into the hands of the Dark Queen. I beg of you, help us. I know that you are wise, handsome, noble members of your planet's race. We are? I want you to come on the adventure of a lifetime. I want you to become the most legendary warriors in the universe. I can't believe it. It's what I've been dreaming of. It sounds cosmically cosmic. We'll do it, feathered friend. Excellent. Oh, 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 this, oh. Dave, you're a toad. Yeah, well, you don't look so good yourself, buddy. Hey, this wasn't part of the deal. Of course it was! You're the Battletoads! The greatest heroes in the history of the universe! Oh, man! Now when they call us Toads, they'll be right! Huh? It's an incoming teleportation! <laughs> I've come for the girl, T-Bird! Battletoads, defend the princess! Now, pardon me, but why should we do any favors for the guy that just turned us into toads? Uh, help! <laughs> <laughs> now, Princess, you are mine! Not so fast, lady! Battle toads? Seabird, what manner of illusion is this? <laughs> Wow! Superhero City, we got serious brain bashing powers! I'm a Seiku Renick Skull Scratching Super Toad Man! Nice hands, Dave. Life is one big basketball game! Taste cold slushy, big hoids! <laughs> the weapons are too much for us, Your Majesty! Very well. You've won this battle, too. But the war is just beginning! Well done, Battletoads! Yeah, we were kind of good, weren't we? Good? We were slamming! You must let me thank you for your bravery by bestowing on you the ancient names of honor. I dub you Zitz. And from now on, you are Rash. And you shall be called Pimple. You're putting us on, right? Those are the most totally rude, disgust-o-matic names I've ever heard. I like them.
You can return to your normal form any time you choose. You mean we can be totally grossed out heroes and still be our old selves too? Psychotronic! Incredible! Cosmorific! Let's get normal! Gosh! Vito! We're our old geekomatic selves again. So, you're our favorite teacher, Mr. Thorpe, and we've got to find some place safe to hide them until we can figure out what to do next. Okay, boys. I'm in no mood for jokes. Oh, yeah? Well, hang on to your brain pan. Let's get warning! Jokes rule! Oh. You guys are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Here's everything you'll need to live the good life in Oxnard. Cool clothes, high-toned sneakers, a tape player, some heavy metal, a surfboard, some tan oil, oh, and some organic bean sprouts. And the most important thing, a set of wheels. Don't worry, it runs. Well, sort of. Actually, we were hoping you could use your scientific genius to rebuild the engine, Professor T-Bird. This should be most fascinating. Now, there's just one other item that's essential for survival in Oxnard. Money. I'm afraid one of you is going to have to get a job. Your Highness, I shall undertake this challenge. Uh, I don't think there are many good paying positions open for alien talking birds. The pay is four seventy-five an hour. What? Minimum wage? But she's a princess. Are you out of your psychotronic skull? Please, Rash, let me handle it. I will happily accept your offer. Fine. You can start by boxing them. Hey, watch it with the jelly donuts. Forgive me. I am new to Oxnard and know little of these jelly donuts. A battle toad's greatest weapons are his hands and feet. Your smash hits will come naturally if you think with your hands. You mean like when my hand got really big at the stop and scarf? Exactly. Toads, prepare yourselves. Let's get warning. Toads See if we can't shed a little light on things. Whoa. I wish I could do that. You can. Huh? You just need practice and breakfast with my golden crisp cereal to power up. My energy packed puffed wheat is a delicious part of a complete breakfast. This stuff's great. I'm ready. Power up with golden crisp. Talking dog. What'd you say, Ronald? Spot what's on top of a house. Ruff. How does sandpaper feel? Ruff. But Ronald, any dog can say that. Well, they were easy questions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you potato head kid? Yeah, they were real fun. Because they're silly. I know we're going to McDonald's. The 
Potato Head Kids are here with McDonald's Potato Head Kids Happy Meal. Wow. There's eight, one in each Happy Meal you buy. <laughs> I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. All right. Let's stop some toads! <laughs> We gotta psych ourselves up. That's the trick. I'm a brain banging, mud stomping mega toad, man. Far out. Full metal earmuffs. And I'm a big bad mother of all toads. Hee haw! Battle dozer. Kiss my fist. Oh, right. Hey, first. Where is this? Where's what? The videoscape teleporter. <laughs> this is the property of the Dark Queen Empire. <laughs> okay, think with my hands. Think with my hands. <laughs> Suddenly, Cosmic. Princess Angelica and your magic amulet. You won't get away with this. The battle toads will follow you across the galaxy. <laughs> I doubt that very much. General Slaughter, I have the princess. Call off your attack. These ponies retreat! <laughs> Don't come back. We toad stomped them. I'm not so sure. I believe this has all been a diversion. Yeah, if they found us that easily, they'll have no trouble finding... The, the princess. princess! But if the princess has been taken to another galaxy, how can we rescue her without a teleporter? In our toadster. Are you off your nut? This heap won't even make it around the block. And it's got three flat tires. I've made some modifications. Besides, where we're going, we don't need tigers. She's taken the princess to the top of her generator tower. It's the source of all her power. You'll have to enter through the base, climb the central shaft, and break in at the top. Now we've got to get inside this thing. Watch me evolve, fellow toads. Time for a cosmically bashing one-ton stomp. Now climb upward. Angelica is at the top. How come we have to do all the work? Because you're legendary heroes. Well, <laughs> let's hop to it. That blaster is tied into my main power batteries. Even your amulet's magic cannot protect you from it. I suggest you give it to me willingly. Never! <laughs> Farewell, princess. You're finished. In a pig's eye! <laughs> All right, Kawini! This is the showdown! You fools think your power is greater than mine. Never gonna stop that black tornado. Say, if that's the main power shaft, this could be history's biggest heavy metal blast. Let's do it.
damage those battle toads, Majesty. We just can't fight them. Oh, yes, we can. I will muster my last remaining power reserves and destroy them with the Whipsaw. I told you not to see each other anymore! You violated my order! You three are suspended! You can't do that to us. We're intergalactic heroes. Yeah! We're the headbangiest psychomatic toads you ever saw! I'm not just suspending you. I'm gonna have you committed to the Oxnard State Institution! I guess some people just have to be shown. Let's get warning! They aren't insane. They're evil freaks. Call the police. Call the National Guard. So, uh, no standing ovation? Attention, people of Earth. For the crime of harboring the battle toad, I, the Dark Queen, shall now destroy your planet. Oh, no. It's headed toward the ball. Don't let her destroy our mall. to get inside that thing. <laughs> you pathetic toads walked right into my trap. You'll never defeat us cosmic super toads. You insolent toads! I'll destroy you! Fire! No, 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 your majesty! Don't! The controls are destroyed, and we must flee before the whip door crashes! lady is cosmically stupid. Now, nah, what did you expect from someone who hires barnyard animals? Raise our toes! So, do we still have to stay away from each other? Of course not. Who on earth gave such a stupid order? Well, then I'd like to introduce you to our friends. This is Professor T-Bird. And this is Angelica. Treat her like a princess, because <laughs> she really is one. And you three gallant toads really are my heroes. Man, those are the most totalicious words I ever heard. What a remarkable little proton diffractor. Actually, that's a fountain pen. Let me have it before you hurt yourself. Let's hear it. Toads rule! We'll be right back and see if we can't shed a little light on things. Those are killer moves, Tony. Not that. We've practiced, so let's get rolling after a complete breakfast, including my Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. It helps bring out the tiger in you. No training wheels. Good. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Good. They're great. You show them no tiger. Show them what you can't do. Right up, tiger. And they can get dragged without the soccer review. And you. Terminator's back to fight evil with this mobile assault vehicle. I've got to find Evil T-1000. Disguised as a policeman, Evil T-1000 aims to destroy. I've got you now. Who's got who? Time to get serious. New mobile assault will blow you away. The party's over, T-1000. Adios, amigo. Terminator. I'll be back. Blinding blackness. How tough you are. Everyone thinks my new glow-in-the-dark box is so much fun. Wow. <laughs> they only want to eat in the dark. It glows. My guests have always enjoyed the double chocolatey taste, but this is ridiculous. Oh, a 
I'm having trouble getting some. Anybody seen the milk? <sighs> now to enjoy a monstrously delicious part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> Now I see the light. And you can, too, with the glow-in-the-dark Mark Box of Count Chocula. Hey! <laughs> I'm not spying in that. Back to the show. Here we come with our battle cry. Battletoads, Battletoads. We got a geek o and a T-bird in the sky. Battletoads, Battletoads. Across the universe, now we're green and we're totified. Battletoads. We were just now we're super toast sports and all. We were strange, but now we're stranger. Across the universe, now we're green and we're told if Battletoads. I'm the alphabet wizard, as you can see. I spell words deliciously. Any word from A to Z. Kids, they want my alphabets too. I spell boat to get away. Goat, uh oh, I spell Right here in the Micro Machines video channel, the city's small towns, everything in between on the highways and byways with your Micro Machines. More styles, more fun, Micro Machines, the real one. Micro Machines, highways and byways sold separately. Put it together. Vehicle packs each sold separately, too. The legend continues. The exciting conclusion to threesome. I knew he'd run. He won't be coming back either. This thing blankets the city with ultra high frequency sound. <laughs> and look who's coming to Smallville. Luther and Odessa are here. We have to warn Superboy and make him leave Smallville. Oh, oh no! The boy who steal and Lana take out the trash on the next Adventures of Superboy. Saturday at 6 on PHL 17. Walt Disney Pictures' classic, The Adventures of the Great Mouse Detective, Whoa. is back in theater. <laughs> he's the world's greatest detective. Amazing. And he's teaming up with Toby, <laughs> Dawson, and Olivia <laughs> to take on Radigan, the world's biggest rat. Now, you're invited to join the fun. We've got a moment to lose. With Walt Disney Pictures, The Adventures of the Great Mouse Detective, rated G. Starts tomorrow at a theater near you. Check newspapers for listings. Work it out, see it through. Keep your eye on it, Tiger. Bring out the Tiger in you. Winners practice hard and eat right. Like the sweet crunch of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes as part of this complete breakfast. Show me you're a Tiger. Show me you can do. Come on. Taste the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Brings out the Tiger in you. They're cool. Has anybody seen Bobby? You know Bobby. He's uh, like he's uh, he's he's quiet and he's kind of he's kind of shy. Fun loving, a real sport. He's like the perfect angel. In fact, he's exactly like me. Except I'm a cartoon. A really big cartoon. Be sure to watch Bobby's World Saturday morning on Fox. We'll be right back. What is Gak? Gak is great stuff. Oozy. <laughs> Gak is sexy. You can pull it. Make Gak sounds. How rude. Suck it up and squirt it out with a Gak back. Pump it up and blow it up with a Gak inflator. Well, I never. Nickelodeon Gak comes in different colors, sizes, and play sets. Each sold separately. Coming soon from Mattel.
See, let me see. I love video scavenger hunt. Let's roll. Spotted dogs, twins, rock group, group head stand. <laughs> Got it. Twins? Well, I always see twins. And McDonald's. Oh, oh man, spotted dog. <laughs> hey, a rock group. Works for me. Red convertible. I always see red convertible. At McDonald's. Hey, we're doing great. We're doing great. Look, twins. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd find everything at McDonald's. But why don't you say something? <laughs>